Tips before a date night. What y'all doing? Mm. Everything shower. <laughs> Everything shower. What are things that guys do that will lower their chances of not being able to get a girl? Disrespectful mother. I mean, if he makes it work, but if you look stupid, <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling him? Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on Under the Influence, the sauciest, juiciest show on the internet. My name is Esther. I'm Jackie. Maru. Sydney. Cynthia. And we're sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Heart, Heart Seltzer. Seltzer. <laughs> Unique Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. As you can see, we replaced all the boys with the girls. Woo! This is um, Jackie, Sydney, and Cynthia's first time on the show. Yes. Maru has been here several times, but it's been about a year. It's been a long time since you came back. No, yeah. For, yeah, for sure. But yeah, you guys, don't worry. The boys will be back next week. But since it's the girls episode today, we're going to talk about a lot of things. We're going to talk about us. We're going to talk about love, friendship. And men, please don't click out because we have some advice for you guys. And who else to give you advice on girls than girls, right? Okay. So let's get started. All right, we're going to talk about some lighthearted questions. <clears throat> you guys are very, very beautiful girls with a lot of followers. And I just want to know if you guys had any weird encounters with fans, both male or female. Ooh. Creepy. I want to say I have. And you know who I'm talking Jackie, about. Jackie, I know who you're talking about. Too. Okay, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo. But if Where? I... Where? No, 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 no. Like, if I tell the story, the person, I'm sure, is watching it. And I'm sure that they'll know. That oh, they're, like, obsessed them. with you? Yeah. It's kind of scary. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, how about something that's not so scary? Yeah. <laughs> uh. I kind of have one. Okay, go, Cynthia. Okay, this was a while back, but my family and I went to Boiling Crab for my cousin's little, um, for my little cousin's birthday. And it was, like, eight of us, like, family members. And, like, we were eating. And, like, low-key, so, like... I'm sitting there enjoying my shrimp and I have like a face full of shrimp in my mouth and I look up and I see this guy just like staring at me, right? And I was like, oh. And so I'm just like awkwardly like eating. And then like I look up again and he's holding up his phone. It has like a Snapchat, like the message on it. And it says like, can I take a picture with you? Oh, or something okay. with like a heart. And I was no like, well, Edie, yeah. that's crazy. Wait, I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind when people do that because that has happened to uh, me, we talked like the UTI crew uh, when we went to like Mastro's and yeah. someone was like, we love you. Like, oh, you know, can we? and I was like, that's so sweet. I was like, come here. Who cares if I'm eating? But yes. you know what? It depends with, on the person, right? Also but, with like family, I feel like. Oh yeah, with family, it's a little yeah, different. So yeah, family it, was, was a it was okay at first. Like I thought it was like kind of funny. Yeah. And so I like finished my shrimp, like wiped my mouth, like went over and I was like, it's a good picture. Like his mom took the picture of us. And then I kind of like said hi. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna join my family again now. And like went back to eating. And then the family in front of us, like his family, like finished eating. Like th the rest of his family like left like 30 minutes before we finished. And like, it was just him and his mom like sitting there. like watching us eat, like waiting till I was done because I think they also wanted a picture with my sister. And so like, we finally finish up. And so I can kind of see him like waiting for me again. I was like, bro, like I'm with my family. Like, you know, I don't think like, now's the time. And I, I kind of like avoid him. I go to the bathroom. My sister comes in the bathroom too. And he's, she's like, dude, like he's like waiting out there for us. And I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, like I know, like it's really awkward. Yeah. This was also like kind of in the beginning when it was like first started, like I start first started getting recognized. And so it was like kind of weird for me too. For sure, makes and so sense. I felt super weird, yeah. yeah. But, like he waited, like we walked out. He like asked for a picture for like, like both of us dude but when you guys are out in public can't you guys tell who like knows who you are yeah but won't say anything like it's so they make it so obvious yeah like, they're over here like yeah <laughs> they're, they're doing yeah. this little thing they walk by with their friend they're like this exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so obvious no, do you I, guys have any other i don't think i've had like hella weird encounters yeah, for sure for sure okay well i have a question that i've been dying to ask you guys <clears throat> do you guys think it's weird to fart in public? Do you think it's embarrassing or gross? No, <laughs> no, but it's no. funny. Okay, yeah. okay. But like, would you like, like, would you guys be embarrassed if you guys let out a toot? Yes, I personally wouldn't do it. But like, go I off. Think, like, if you need to fart, off. yeah, I don't, I don't care. Now that you said go off, I'm go I start, off. I start <laughs> farting everywhere. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, me I personally, think, I don't know. I don't think I mind if someone else does it around yeah. me. Yeah, if I do it. <laughs> 
It's, it's very <laughs> rare, but I would have to like fart that. It bad also depends on where. <laughs> yeah. Like, can you imagine like in the movies? <laughs> <laughs> like loud as hell, or like in the classroom, <laughs> in class. Yeah. How, How would you play it off? You can't even you play it. That was the movie. That You're was like, the movie. <laughs> or like you blame it on somebody else. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Or just don't react. You're just like. <laughs> That's. I feel like I get embarrassed, but like in front of my friends, I don't. Yeah. I'm if it's, like, it's if it's whatever. your friend, you're just like, no, don't worry about it. But when it's you, you're just like, oh. <laughs> when it's my friends, I warn them. I'm like, I'm a fart. <laughs> just letting you yeah. guys know. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's super respectful. <laughs> okay, so I, I Jeremy and I we were talking about this, but we were in the car, we're driving, and randomly he was just like, What if you had to go to the restroom really, really bad and you go to the public restroom? Let's just say we're at a restaurant or whatever, and you let out the craziest toot. Okay, the most <sighs> gnarly, dangerous toot, okay? And then you walk out and there's a fan. And the fan <laughs> <laughs> and the and the fans over here are like, oh Synth is that is that you, Cynthia? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, is that exactly like oh, Jackie? I'm like, no. Was I? And it, it, what are you gonna say? What are you saying? That wasn't me. No. <laughs> <laughs> me personally, I'm not coming out of the bathroom until I know everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, yeah. I would avoid anyone. Let's just let's just say you came out and the fan was waiting. I, the, the fan didn't know it was you, but like once you come out, the fan's like the fan knows it was you. You're the tutor. Oops. Man, you know what? They do it too. We're just going to ignore point. it and continue. But yeah, I'm but it was so up. gnarly, y'all. It was just like an earthquake. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are. Like what? that one white chick scene where it's like. <laughs> oh. Think about that. That was you. Um, <laughs> I could not be in the public. There's no way. I don't even know. Unless they bring it up, I'm not saying anything. Yeah. I, when he like, asked me that question, I was just like, like, what would I do, right? And Jeremy was like, this is what I would do. What? He said that I would gaslight the crap out of the, out of the fan and say and, ba- and basically like gaslight gaslight into thinking like oh like nobody's gonna believe you. And he said he was gonna start doing crazy things like start doing like a little dance move and stuff. And it's just like, like hypnosis imagine, or something. It, literally some random stuff like something so crazy that like when that person goes on to tell his the friends story. like okay so I saw Jeremy in the restroom and he farted so hard and he came out and blah blah blah. He started dancing. His friend's gonna be like. Like what? Yeah, you're lying. Yeah. That's such a lie. That's low key genius. I was like, I was like low key, and then and then you know, I was like, oh my god, and I would throw this into. Shh, no one's gonna, no one's gonna believe you. I was like, that is low key genius. Yeah. No, low key. I would have exactly. never thought of that. <laughs> it's because Jeremy's weird. Yeah. All right, guys. I have another question for you guys. So I know that Cynthia and Maru, they you guys work with more male, right? And Jackie and Sydney, you guys, have you guys ever worked with like a lot of boys? Like I know you were in a content house, right? Mm. Yeah. Was it was a lot of boys? Mm -hmm. Okay, for sure. Mm. I just want to ask you guys, (laughs) what is your least favorite thing about (laughs) about working with? Oh, there's so much. Like how much time do you have? Oh yeah, we have all the time. We have all day. (laughs) And and by the way, when this episode drops, I'm just getting heated. (laughs) <laughs> Getting talked over all the time. That, like, it's so bad. Um, mansplaining yes. all the time. What are they mansplaining? Everything. Like, what? Are they that smart or what? What is. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, are, what are they? What are they? What's I'm like Loki talking about Nick right now. <laughs> like, Nick. okay, Nick mansplains. Sean kind of mansplains. Devin mansplains. Sage. So basically, all of them. <laughs> Oh, they all of them. All of them. I think way, it's like, yeah. I feel like every man does it and they don't even know they're doing it. Yeah. But what are they like explaining to you guys? What is like something that- Just like basic stuff that we already know and we're like- Like how to fix a car or something or, <laughs> or is it like- I'm like trying to think of something specific. <laughs> because if they told me how to fix a car, I'll be interested, but I don't think any of them know. Do they know? Am I? Maybe I, like- They've never talked to us about cars. Yeah. So what are they explaining about? Just like- it's hard to explain. Yeah. It's kind of just like how how they talk. Okay, well, what's like another example we can give? Not like mansplaining. Are they like mm-hmm. belittling though? Do they just go like, oh my God, like you guys don't know this? Is it like that? I feel like they've said that before. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, um, before this episode comes out, I'm blocking all of them. So you guys can say whatever you guys want. They won't <laughs> okay, see this. They won't see it. Y'all better not send it to them. Yeah. <laughs> like they gaslight, they manipulate. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. They're still really good boys. They are, but no, you're asking what the struggle is, like working with a lot of boys. Yes, yes. But I totally get you guys when you say that you guys get talked over. Mm-hmm. That happens all the time. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it, it, it like, 
it's inevitable only because you guys are what like six people is it five mm -hmm. five six people six yeah yeah so it's a lot of people so it's like kind of easy to talk over people yeah. but like when it's with girls I feel like we're like oh sorry like yeah. we're very like how very do you say much. like respectful or like very, very like cutesy with it they're just yeah. like no no uh, rah, 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 rah. Yes, it's yes. just like non-stop like that's so over. true and I feel like with girls like we remember that we cut them off so we're like oh but you were saying oh, go back to it yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. no yeah <sighs> exactly what about you guys in the content house you guys can if you think of anything f feel free to yes ma'am I think it was different because we didn't I mean we worked with them but we didn't yeah it, it was just like filming all the time but I will say they're so messy they're <gasps> girls so listen messy. girls can be messy I'm not saying like you know it's just boys but the amount of times that I don't know if you remember we had to do the dishes because yeah. they would leave if they cooked, right? They would leave all their freaking dishes and they would be like, "Oh, I didn't do that." Mm. Like like I didn't just see you eat that <laughs> or like food bags like from like days ago everywhere. That's yeah, so on the gross. freaking like counter just spread out of yeah. their, their friends stuff too. They wouldn't clean up after their friends. Uh it was just a lot. I have a question. Are they messy or dirty? Because you know how there's a huge difference between being messy yeah. and dirty? Both. They're oh, messy. Both. The bathrooms They're, looked disgusting. Oh. It was it was sick. It was it was sick. sick. It was, it was uh, you know what? <laughs> Damn. And I've never talked about it, but like, no, it was bad. No, I I, I get it. I get and it. I know yeah. what you're talking about, bro. I would never live with a house full of boys. I don't know how it you guys did even, it. I would not. <sighs> I, 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 I have, but they were like older and mm. I was just like renting a room. It was like a housing for sure. situation. For sure. Are you dirty or messy? Would you say? I'm a little messy, messy? Okay. but I'm not like dirty. Okay. Yeah. No, I feel you, Cynthia. It's like messy with like clothes on the ground, but like, yes. yeah. It's yeah, my yeah, ADHD. Yeah. 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 I feel yeah. like that happens with girls all the time. Yeah. 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 My room right now. His clothes everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I think about it though, I feel like our boys aren't very messy though. They're or, like not dirty. Too like dirty. The house isn't like super dirty. Yeah. For sure. I went to uh, Nick's restroom <laughs> and you know that like shower, I forgot what that thing is. Oh, the shower. You showed there, me. There's, a, there's a shower like, is it a caddy? Is, is it called a caddy? Uh -huh. It's like you hang it on your shower head mm -hmm. and then like you put like your loofah and your uh, your shampoo so, yeah. and stuff. He didn't, he forgot, he, he left a tag on the whole, <laughs> the whole, you know what I mean? The whole label on. You're lying. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I was like, this is, this is, <laughs> this is so like a boy's house. A boy, yeah. It's like paper, like. It's, it's paper. Yeah. And I was like, it's surprising the paper's not wet yet. As soon as he came out of the bathroom, she's like, can y'all please look at this? We're like, there's no way. I exposed him. No, it's actually yeah. funny. <laughs> no, dude, Jeremy was telling me about how at his house, his old house, there it was basically like a frat house like you know how frat houses could be super dirty mm. but someone threw up in the sink and they didn't unclog it but like people were still using <laughs> people were still so using sick. it so like like imagine it just growing but Ew. stuff is still in there Ew, that's actually disgusting yeah. oh but, my god but, but yeah you're 100 percent right girls can also be dirty the and smell messy as well bother them? dude i, I smell right? crazy i think they don't you I don't know. Really I think it. I don't think anybody wants to take accountability. Like when you say like, like who did the dishes and they're just like, oh, that was a niche. It's mm -hmm. like sometimes they be doing that. You yeah. know what I mean? That's for everybody. But like, but if you threw up specific. in the sink, what did she think? Like, let me. Let me that, that is so different from doing the dishes. You have throw mm -hmm. up in your sink. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that is so true. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But when you're That's drunk, you don't like to take accountability. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just run away from the issue. You're not gonna be like, oh no. I'm gonna clean I this up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no. All right, guys. On to the next thing. We're gonna be talking about icks, and mm. I know y'all have a lot of icks, right? <laughs> okay. So I I watched a TikTok of this girl listing a whole bunch of icks that she had with a guy that she went on a date with, and I just wanted to know. Okay, we're gonna play a game called. Is it an ick? Is it a deal breaker, or is it not a big deal? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So there are some wild ones, but I'm just going to list out a couple things that aren't like too wild. But I want you guys to tell me what you guys think. And then if you guys have any stories about it, then you guys can yeah, share. So the first one is they have a specific type of diet. They're ve either vegetarian, vegan. <laughs> That's so funny. That or, deal or, breaker. Or, or, or they have a they have a high fat, high protein diet, which is like keto. But I saw this girl. She was eating like chunks of butter. Oh, I fuck saw all that. I low key, she made the butter look really yummy. with like eggs and like salt. She yeah. was eating like twelve eggs. Like what? Uh, the they look yummy. That's <laughs> horrible for I'm you. So we're talking about some crazy, like they eat raw liver every day type diet. 
okay, let's not go that far. Not oh. like Liver King, but you know what I mean? Like, okay, that one's, a, maybe that one's a little crazy too. Like 12 yeah. poached eggs and two sticks of butter. I don't know. But, it's okay. weird, but as long as they don't put it on yeah, me Yeah, I was about to it. say, as long as they don't make me like try to eat like that, I don't yeah. think I okay, really got care. it, got it. What about you guys? Because I know you guys love to eat. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. <laughs> I love like trying new foods with like my partner. Mm, so maybe like, is it an ick? Deal breaker or it's not a problem? Like, could you work around it? <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Honestly. It's a problem for like, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> like, I, okay, I'm not bashing anyone who has like a, like diet of any kind. No, but, but this is like your saying, man. This yeah, is your exactly. man, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, like, wait, wait, I love eating out though. That's the thing. So exactly. like, because of that, he would have to like, we have to pick certain restaurants that like follow his restrictions or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no. Never you know mind. What? I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think I can date like a picky man. Yeah. S- same. I don't Deal think breaker, being picky. to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, yeah, I, I agree. I think it would be a deal breaker because I feel like food brings people together. That's and true. like, that's the number one thing I love to do. So if you can't, <laughs> we, if we can't enjoy the same food, I feel like sometimes it could be, like, it doesn't have to be exactly the same because I do eat like crazier things. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jeremy calls me like a freaking, what does he call me? Like, a, a raccoon I think <laughs> and he just says I eat like a cockroach or whatever so like I'm just like I get it okay you don't have to eat everything that I eat like you know but at least if I'm just like let's go to eat hot pot like go eat hot pot you're just like I'm down you know what I mean yes. like it's just yeah yeah and you guys are okay with it it's not a it's not a problem for you guys I just say it's not a problem for me if he's not pushing it on me. Yeah, got it. Like, got if it. he's telling me like we can't go eat here, we can't do this because of him, mm-hmm. then no. But yeah. if he's okay with like accompanying me at least, yeah. I or mean like I'll find something to eat there. But okay, got cool. it. Yeah. What if? Yeah. Okay, because I know you like Mexican food. Imagine we go to a Mexican restaurant. He's just like I don't like Mexican food. That's I'm just gonna have the water. <laughs> okay, well, but that's you can have anything you want. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I said, okay, no, like, totally, totally, yeah. totally valid. I, I hate just, eating by myself while the other person isn't eating. So no. I would never either. Yeah. Right? If, if I say, so Jeremy, I want ice cream. And he's like, oh, if I go like, hey, do you want ice cream? And he's like, no, I'm good. I'm like, I'm not having ice cream. Yeah. Yes. Do you right? know what I'm saying? Dude, I've gone into arguments because of that hesitate. before. <laughs> like, <laughs> dead ass. Yeah. I was like, why are you not eating with me? If they have to think about it, it's a no. I'm like, no, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like something that you do to like bond or like, I don't know, just to enjoy that moment together. So for me yeah. personally, no, it's not a big deal if like my friends are vegetarians, vegans. I don't, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. I don't it mind. It could be maybe because I've never been in a relationship. I don't know, but I'll be like, I'll be damned if I'm not going to get ice cream because he doesn't want to get ice cream. And Jackie's like, okay, that suit yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want ice Honestly, cream. I love that for you, Jackie. No, for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. I just don't like eating by myself sometimes you know yeah. I mean? when the person is there. Like, I'm okay if I'm by myself and I and I got to eat by myself. But like, if they're there, I want to make sure that they're it also is, enjoying it's it. It's nicer, yeah. 100%, yeah. Can you please delete that video? So, no, no. So this is my company. I'm just... It doesn't matter. Here. Welcome to Flavor Town, where my drink is flying off these shelves. We're here to get some learnings. Let's go. Right here, front and center. We just take the whole row at the bottom. Yes, yes. This is beautiful. Both packs back to back. Anybody walking by gets to see our full offering. And again, if you like light and crisp, zero sugar, try this one. If you like bold and sweet, gently sweetened with monk fruit, also zero sugar, try this one. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down. You know, I want people to see more of the loud packaging. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now it's beautifully merchandised. Let's go see where else we're at in the store. Right now, I don't see us on this main shelf over here, which is kind of a bummer. Now we go check the cold fridge. Damn, we're not in the front of the cold fridge either. Let's go check the back. All right, looking down here. Can you please delete that video? So, no, no, so this is my company. I'm just filming. It doesn't matter. I'm one of the founders of Nectar. I was just filming some promo videos for my product. Yeah, you should definitely have to go to corporate office. Even if I'm not filming customers, I'm just filming myself in the, yeah. in the boxes. Okay, I wasn't aware. Of that. Corporation. Depends. Sometimes the store manager so like <laughs> or whatnot. It's just kind of dependent on the store manager because yeah. they're kind of aware of what I've been doing. Yeah. So. Okay. Get it? All right, cool. Thank you. We were asked to leave, and they were polite about it, and we were polite back. But one of my frustrations a lot of these times is like we are doing so much benefit to the store, and a lot of times people that go and buy nectar and help out their store is because of these videos, which helps them overall. And so we put all this work into getting the word out there for our product, and then we're not able to do the thing that works best that ultimately 
helps everybody, that could be a little bit of frustrating, but we'll find another way. Buy out the entire supply and kill them with kindness because genuinely, I love Total Wine. I've appreciated everything I've done and I hope they can see the work that I'm putting in to help them as well. Please, please let me just walk in with a cell phone and film, please. All right, the second one. Doesn't have good fashion taste. Pull up a picture of Jeremy <laughs> with his outfit. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know um, he watches the show. No. Um, maybe hot take, but I feel like I don't really care. Same. I care. Okay. It I depends care on bit. how bad it is. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I say because I've had some questionable. Like, are they yeah, unaware? Huh? Like, do they know they dress like a little? Um, or is it just like, I think let's, I look let's, good. Okay. I guess let's just say they either don't care. So mm. they're just like throwing on like. What what is a what is a fit that you wouldn't? Yes, like if they're if they look like weird because they just don't care and don't give a f that's like cool. But okay. if they're if they think they're like <laughs> they have that <laughs> on, <but> like yeah. <laughs> they don't like you know. know yeah. I mean, yeah. you could wear that by yourself. <laughs> but if you're coming out with me. You know, we're right, fixing yeah. up the fit. Yeah. What, are, what are you saying if your man pulls up with like okay? Jeremy, I swear it's not about you, babe. A striped, <laughs> a striped funny. turtleneck. No, I cropped the oh. exact photo of him wearing that right now. <laughs> striped turtleneck with like some basketball shorts. And he's just like, yes, oh my babe, God. sometimes I get cold. My, my legs get cold, but my upper body is like. And we're going outside? Huh? And we're going out? We're going out, yeah. Hell no, no I'm sorry. If I'm going to the grocery change. store, fine. But if, no, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Just like, babe, it's just a movie theater. Mm. That's like valid though. Like We're in the dark. A movie theater I is valid. Said, if he's going to like dinner like that, like a nice dinner. Okay, no, never, never, never. Yeah, yeah. Never. See, exactly. Um, exactly. I mean, if he makes it work, but if you look stupid, <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling him? Respectfully, you gotta, you, you yeah, gotta go like change. Maybe, I would be like, maybe you should like put on some different pants. <laughs> Whenever I don't, I don't, I don't want to say what I don't like, but when I, I'm just like, I think this will look better. Yeah. And if they mm. don't want to, then I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. for sure, you, for can't, sure. you can't change mm -hmm. it yeah i yeah. feel like you just gotta be straight up with them like yeah. what are you wearing yeah. <laughs> like, i don't know usually when i have like a man's like i'm very comfortable with him so like yes. i don't like straight up tell him like bro no for sure <laughs> it's easier yeah. to be straight up with like the your man than like a girlfriend like yeah with oh, a girlfriend, sure. you have to be like oh, yes like but i have a question y'all what mm -hmm. if he's so confident in his fit you know okay those guys that are just like yeah this is my fit like i know it looks good and you're and if you're telling him like you gotta change their ego. Yes. Their ego. <laughs> their ego. <laughs> like, I don't care about my ego. No one's gonna look at us <laughs> together like that. Yeah. Like, no. For sure. So you're just telling him straight off. Um, I is it an ick though? Is it an ick? It's not an ick though. Or a deal breaker to me. It's just not a problem, but you're, you're gonna handle it. Yeah, for sure. I don't think it's a deal breaker. It might be like, <clears throat> A little bit of an ick in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Also, Have you I feel like there's oh, been many yeah. times where like I've seen like a hot guy, but like he's not, he's like dressed down or like he just doesn't know how to dress, but it's like you see the vision and you he feel like potential. if we were together, like I would, <laughs> yes. I would eat. Like yeah. I would literally like, I could like elevate him. Yeah. The yeah. girlfriend effect. Yeah, mm. for sure, for sure. But okay, so alrighty. Do you guys all agree that for an ick, like you, do you guys get icks if you actually like the person like a lot? Like you're down bad for them? Yes. No. Yeah. Yes, still? Yeah. For me it's the opposite. For me it's the opposite too. Like if, if I like love them, then like nothing's an ick to me. Literally. Right? Yeah. Okay, if you love them, that's that's different if you love them. Yeah, but yeah, like love. But if you're just like, like super down bad. I would think it's an ick, but then I'd be like, uh, but it's okay because it's, it's okay. him. It's okay because it's him. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you make that excuses. Sense. You're just like, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> no, like it's it's nothing. Yeah, he leaves poop stains in the restroom, but it's not that bad. <laughs> that has happened actually. Yes, I'm ashamed. <laughs> me now. <laughs> no, but like, I feel like I've been. In, that's how I know I don't like somebody that much. If they give me the ick too much, I'm like too fast. Yeah, yeah, I'm like. I will say if it's like a guy like I love and like I'm down bad for, I start noticing the icks later on. Later on in the relationship. When you're like comfortable and yes, yeah, like that a makes year sense. In, into the relationship. And then I start noticing the icks. And then oh, that's, that's what I'm bad. like. But it's like, it's always been there. So you know it was just because you were down bad in the beginning. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. All right, guys. This is gonna be, a lot of people might get angry. Oh no. Okay. 
didn't go to college. I'm only saying this. I know like a lot of people don't care, but I do know a lot of people that like it's like a must. Mm-mm. I don't care. Is it? I don't care. Okay, for sure, for sure. Because uh, my friends and I we got into a little fight about that. I was like, who cares? He's like, no, he needs to have a good job, and I'm just like, that's fine. Oh, no. That's like that's yes. like fine. That's on you. But I was like, for me, it's not an ick. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I think. And, and you guys, just letting you know, audience, an ick is kind of like a preference type of you know what I mean yeah. like not everybody has the same ick as you so like don't judge yeah like as long as <clears throat> they have common sense and good decency and they're nice like mm-hmm. I don't care if you went to college or not same 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 yeah yeah I mean I didn't even go to college so who am I to say yeah, I exactly I didn't <laughs> okay all right doesn't have a car mm. <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> he's just like hey babe when are you gonna pick me up <laughs> or, or 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 let's just say like okay i'll be there i'm calling the uber right now for every single thing wait what like they they just oop they just be ubering everywhere they don't oh, pick you up okay you know what if they uber and like they do something about not having a car instead of making you drive everywhere then like that's fine yeah, yeah for sure yeah for sure but i've had i'm never again i've like talked to guys or like two in two different situations like they didn't have cars and it was just so annoying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but are they, they never you to pick you up? yes i will never yeah. be that down bad it was straight off after high school okay, okay for sure. no, you're young you're young yeah, yeah. yeah. you're young but. when i was younger like i wanted to please people so i would do like like everything in my power to like make people feel like comfortable oh, yeah. and stuff and i just do the dumbest things i'm like damn Wasted money, wasted gas. That exactly. Was so the right? of, Dude, like, sometimes I would still be doing that. Shit, but it's okay. Bro, Sydney, I, could, yeah. I saw you. <clears throat> I Sorry about know. it. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm used to being like the driver, so I'm always like, yeah, like I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. But I don't know how I'd feel like always being like, yeah, I'll pick you up, or you're not making the effort to like, oh, let me figure out how I'm gonna get you or something like that. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, would it be okay if he was? always paying for your dinner, but he didn't have a car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, for sure. Yeah, that's fine. For sure, got it. You? Oh, I don't know. Oh, because she doesn't drive. <laughs> wait, Jackie doesn't drive. Wait, See, wait. that could never work, Y'all Jackie. both Ubering together. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to be like, I'm going I'm to make a stop. Wait, I'm going to make a stop. I got, I got my driver's license. Yeah. Yay! I finally got it. Yay! So... I could possibly drive now. I gotta get a car. Yeah, but period. Okay, I gotta do that. that but got it. Yeah. For sure. So maybe I can drive now. Okay, wait. Also, hot take, maybe also, but is it different when the girl can't drive? Oh, you know Ooh. what? Some guys say it is a deal breaker. Hmm. But it's like, mm. yeah. But some guys really don't care. Some guys would rather pick their girl up. Yeah. It really true. depends on the guys. I've but, never met a guy who, who cared. Like they would, they've always preferred to pick their mm-hmm. girlfriend up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I've met a guy who said it was like a yeah. deal breaker. Mm-hmm. I met a guy, I mean, I do have, I know guys that say that it's kind of a deal breaker only because they hate driving. Oh yeah. But they live, they literally live in LA where, they're, where the traffic is like super bad. So they're like, if, if they met a girl, like let's just say at a, oh freak, my dog was here this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> what the, yeah. she was right here. That scared me. Oh my gosh, hi Lulu. So Anyways, funny. yeah, so um, they met at like an LA club, but she ended up living in Orange County, but she doesn't drive. So he's like, honestly, oh. I did like, even if it's not like considered long distance, cause it's like what, an hour it drive maybe. Distance. He was just like, I can't keep going back and forth, back and forth or ha- or like Uber her to my house or like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay. You didn't like her that much. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. You didn't like, like her that much, so yeah. yeah. That's all. I, I mean, it say. is hard though. <laughs> I knew you were about yeah. to say that, dude. I always want to hang out with her, but she lives an hour away, so I can't. Without traffic, it's, like it's 40 not. Minutes. But with traffic, but with traffic, it's yeah. been like two hours for me to g- if I were to go to her. Yeah, I check. I check her. It's two hours. I check we, yeah. Okay, but Sydney's a real one because she always drives here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And she I always go, tries I go, us back too. I go to her. I go to her every now and then. Mm-hmm. She does. I've been trying. I've been trying to. It's just because I didn't. I didn't have my license at the time, so like my mom would take me to her. For sure. Because I'm not Ubering. I refuse. I've been making this drive for like ever, so it's like mm. nothing. I'm like, oh yeah. Since we were younger. Like forty minutes or forty five or an hour. That's like nothing yeah. in my head. I'm like, yeah. Oh, it'll take an hour. Okay, cool. You're a good person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I get it though. All right, guys. This is a huge one for me. Okay. Splits the bill. 
the guy for me it's a total deal breaker on the first day just like or in general actually and i'll like explain why honestly i every hate time. that my mindset yeah, is like this yeah. but i think because growing up i've always been told to pay back literally i i would prefer to split the bill yeah yeah i, I think i, I would like i would too. mention it but then if he keeps pushing to like oh, i'll pay i'll pay okay cool but i'm gonna offer to split the bill for, for sure, sure. For sure. I, yeah, yeah i don't i mean i would say i don't know any better like i've always been like i don't yeah. like when people pay for my like i just i've preferred to always pay for my stuff even like, if whatever. it's your boyfriend well i've never had a boyfriend yeah it, even if it oh, was your my, boyfriend if my boyfriend's <laughs> saying like split well i don't know <laughs> Okay, this is this is okay. Imagine if you're going on a date with a guy and then this is your boyfriend. Like, does it change? Like your answers might change a little bit. I really don't know. <laughs> I genuinely have no clue. Um Yeah, if, okay. If it's split the bill every time, that's weird. Mm -hmm, but if it's mm -hmm. like sometimes he pays, sometimes I pay, and like maybe one day we're like, oh, let's split this one, then like I don't give yeah. a fuck. Yeah, I feel like but yeah, that's yeah. Calm, yeah. If it becomes like every time, and also if it's like the first date and he has to split the bill, I don't I wouldn't really care. I'll take yeah. note, but if he keeps doing it, yeah. then what if he asked you out though. And he's, he's he split. asked me out yeah. and he says split the bill, yeah. deal breaker, red flag. Wait, do you ever ask say. someone out? I feel like you make the first move, but you've never really, actually, I don't know. Have you? Because <sighs> we were talking about how, like, uh, if he asked you out, then then he better pay for the bill, right? Yes. I don't think I've ever asked someone out okay, to, like, it, dinner. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. But if, okay, also, but some girls don't agree, and a lot of guys don't agree with this, too. Like, if the guy asks you out on dinner that he should pay, mm -hmm. I fully believe in that. Yeah, dude, whoever asks... That person is the one who pays. I That's think so I think. too. Like if I ask somebody out, I would, I would pay. pay. I would offer yes, to pay. Exactly. So that makes sure. sense. Yeah. Same. When I asked Jeremy out, I was like, "Let me take you out. I'm gonna exactly. Pick you up. Exactly. <laughs> and, and let me know what kind of restaurant you like because I'm taking you that. Okay? Exactly. But, but yeah. him saying, "No, but I'm a man, so I'm gonna pick you up and I'm gonna pay." I was like, "All right, fine then. Fine. Period." But you know what? I said, "I, I said I'll get all the drinks then." Mm -hmm. But yeah. Exactly. But you know, so, okay, it's, I shouldn't even be surprised because everyone's different, but yeah. there are a lot of people that do say, no, you shouldn't expect the guy to pay just because he asked you out. Yeah, nah, there are a lot of people like, who say that. Exactly, which, was, which I thought was like, oh, interesting, you know? Oh, it was interesting. Yeah. It's, it's like when you like ask your mom to go eat with you, right? It's like you pay if you're the one who asked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're just sitting there like, you're my mom. So yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, at the grown yeah, age of, you know? <laughs> after me telling her like, let's go eat, like, no, that's so weird. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, for everybody, not just like men, but like everybody. Yeah. I, Wait, I will reach for it. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm not saying I will. I'm not like, ex <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, Expect expecting him. Yeah, I don't even reach for if it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I would <laughs> actually no. I do kind of expect him to. Yeah. But if, like, if he doesn't, then that's cool. I just say yeah. thank you. I was like, do you want dessert? You know. But the reason why I say it's a deal breaker is first of all, I would never make this guy a man like my man mm -hmm. if he asked to split in the first place mm -hmm. because I'm just like, first of all, you guys don't come at me. But I'm an investment, okay? And that first of all, okay. But second of all, like. I just think it's like, if you, like it's, ch being cheap is a mindset. I feel like if you're yeah. cheap in general, you're cheap at other things as well. You're cheap, mm. like when it comes to emotions, you're cheap when it comes to like time. Yes. I don't know, it's just a mindset. And I realized I that about a, a lot of people. That. Really? Yeah. Dude, I just realized that That's it's about people, true. actual. Yeah. Like when people are <laughs> genuinely cheap, I realized that there's a lot of things that they do that it's just like, mm. you're not really, a good friend, mm -hmm. you yeah. know what I mean? Or you're stingy. Stingy. Yeah. It's like, it's a mindset, I think. It's yeah. not even yeah. like- That's so true. Yeah, because the thing is, when I didn't have money, I was still like more than like happy to give. Same. And yeah. like do yeah. things for people, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just like, yeah, that's my, like that's my family, that's my friend, that's my boyfriend, you know yeah. what I mean? And I didn't have money, exactly. you know? So like the the excuse of saying that like, like I, I don't want to like, you know, spend my money on you mm -hmm. kind of says something. It's just yeah. the idea of it. it yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, that's it's, totally valid. Yeah, it's like, um, exactly. No, yeah, you can never trust stingy people. It, for mm -hmm. real, I think so too. Mm -hmm. But I think that the reason why I'm so like turned off about that is that for me, I'm like, if I'm gonna pay for dinner, like I, I like paying for dinner, like people's dinners all mm -hmm. the time. But yeah. I'm like, I would like the other person to be like, oh, 
like I got I got the next round or like I got the first round of drinks or something, you know? Yeah. And same for like same for like Jeremy as well. If he was to pay for uh my meal, I'm always like, hey, babe, do you want dessert? Do you want drinks? Like yeah. whatever. Yeah. Or or like I got you next time. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's I think that's a good relationship. It's just courtesy. Like, exactly. Mm-hmm. But y'all, I see <laughs> I'm such a stalker, but I go on my Venmo <laughs> and I be seeing, <laughs> I be seeing some of these couples Venmoing each other. Couples. Couples Venmoing each other. And, and, and these, these people are like, what, like late twenties, thirties. They're Venmoing each other. Like, thanks, thanks babe. Here's my half of like, you know what I'm, Like you don't see that no. message, but like, you know, they're messaging. Mm. They're Venmoing their significant other like food money. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. looking at what people Venmo. <laughs> you do that too? So I'm like, uh. <laughs> it's a platform like a social media platform yeah like I'm like do people yeah. like not know like do you not realize dude I like, always put mine private wait, yeah you mine see? private yeah well some like it's a setting you can turn it off or have it on yeah and you have to make it private like, every who time who they though. sent it to and why not Jackie that is crazy <laughs> that is crazy I'm gonna go on Jackie's let's see where she has go. Go. dude that's why when I'm like down bad I be stalking their Venmo like <laughs> no, yeah, same, it gets bro. like that <laughs> Why are you paying? Yeah, like, you. What were you doing on this well, Exactly. No, yeah. You dude, can see how much? my God, I've been there before. Yeah. <laughs> it's so Wait, no, not how much. Not how much. No? No. It doesn't oh, show you. I don't think it shows you how much sometimes, no. right? No. It never does, yeah. Is mine? I'm not sure. You just see their like emojis of like what it was. If there's yes. a if there's like a cat, you're like, oh, what were you guys mm. doing? <laughs> and then if there's food, you're like, yeah, that's they're yeah. remembering each other for food, you know? All right, we're gonna do a couple more. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Watch his no. <laughs> no. Wait, it's chill. No. Yeah, I've talked Deal about breaker? this on the podcast oh, before really? too. Yeah, your significant others should not watch. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I agree. I agree. I should stop. It's a disease, and I should stop. My man's always working, man. I, I gotta entertain myself somehow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but no, but you're so right. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> Wait, Ezra, I didn't mean to like call no, you. Ass, no, 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 no. I, I dead a think that I should stop. Really? Okay, but yeah. like, honestly, it's it's. So would have, you would you feel the same if what if Jeremy watched it or like you knew or like he never watches? Do you believe that? <laughs> yes, I search all his oh, okay. history. He doesn't know nothing. So what if if he did? No, like, I'm I don't search it. Oh. <laughs> no, he, does, he doesn't. He literally, he literally doesn't. He has like this thing where he's like, I would never watch again. Like he was like, I I would never. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if he yeah. like, I even I one one day I was just like, do you want to watch with me? Mm. And he said no. Wait, together is a different. Story, yeah, but he though. still didn't want to watch it. He thinks that it's like brainwashing people. <laughs> it's like damaging. It for sure is damaging. Yeah, though. no, there yeah there are studies about it. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. It's his jacket. It's his jacket. It looks Tristan's. Like- yeah. Thanks, Tristan. What about you guys? Mm. So Cynthia's mm. like heck no. I have no. Cindy clue. heck no. Oh, I have no. Do clue. you think that you're gonna get upset, or you do you think it's gonna be disgusting? Wait, do the followers know that you're? I don't know. You've yeah. never dated. Yeah. You never. Oh, okay, for sure. I mean, I've talked about it before. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Can I say it for our followers? Yeah. Jackie is. <laughs> wait, 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 no. <laughs> wait, Loki, Cindy too. Cindy, you never. It's like breaking news. <laughs> breaking, <laughs> breaking news. news. <laughs> to break it to the you, girl but... next to me on my right is. A, no, I'm just kidding. Wait, you too? Wait, yeah. The girl next to Maru as well is. I love that for young. No, no, good for you, good for you. Yeah. But you guys. I'm take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, I'm just kidding. No. It's okay. It's we'll find one. We'll find one. No, she In doesn't Korea. need one. In Korea. Are you guys all going? Yes, ma'am. No. You should In come June? with. I, I, please come. I please want come. to go so bad. Esther, please, come. please, I'll do Esther, a back handspring right now. And I can and speak you. Korean for everybody. Exactly, <laughs> you could be like our guide. Dude. Wait, no, you've been to Korea more than I have, though. You know better. I don't know anything. But um, you're well, better at Korean, for sure. Huh? All of us together? Oh, for sure, dude. I, mean, I better see you two in the streets of Hongdae. <laughs> oh, you will. <gasps> dancing in those interviews, your, too? Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> dancing. If someone doesn't come up to me talking about... <laughs> you're a foreigner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see them on TikTok, on my FYP, because I've been seeing those. No, for sure. I we'll need, find them, actually. I need Korean lessons. Yeah. <laughs> those are so fun. Oh. <laughs> Esther, please come with us. I would love to. Well, when are you going? May twenty, May twenty second to the to the first. That is so crazy. Yeah. That's my little brother's birthday, but I don't care about him. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. No, I'm kidding. He's watching. 
Sorry. Take Luke. your brother. Oh. <laughs> Girls trip. Actually, there no. There's guys coming to you. Yeah. He's gay. It's okay. He's he, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter. Girls trip. Girls trip. All right, y'all. <laughs> okay, so most of us said, eh. What about you, Maru? Um, hmm. I feel like I would feel some type of way about it because I'm like, because I don't watch or I don't watch anymore, and so like, <laughs> <laughs> so cute. We all used to watch. I still no. Yep. yep. Used to. Yeah, you know what? It, <laughs> no, no okay. it doesn't I, matter. It's just yeah. Like personally, I would feel a type of way if I found out my boyfriend was watching. Yeah. That's why I think that significant others shouldn't watch. Yeah, I that's my it. only reasoning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's super valid too. Because like, it's like, why are you watching other women naked? Yeah, you know. Oh my no, god, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me. Um. <laughs> not, no, 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 no. But I, you know, my mindset actually changed when I met Jeremy. So before, yeah. I didn't care if my guy watched it mm-hmm. but now that like i have a good man like jeremy that you know he's a good man in general and he does he also doesn't watch <laughs> um i was like holy like i'm so glad that he does it right yeah. and i should change that's that's <laughs> literally my mindset i'm not saying that like you like you know i'm not judging you for watching because <laughs> i do it too and i'm not saying you're a bad boyfriend because you do it but i'm just saying that my mindset has changed because back mm-hmm. then i just didn't care i was like you should like you know like yeah who cares if you watch <laughs> But I never wanted to see like what type of they were searching exactly, up. Exactly. Yeah. Oh fuck no! Imagine it's like somebody completely different than what you look like. Yeah. Like, and imagine it's like it that. is like yeah. you know like yeah, like big booty Latina. I'd be yeah. like oh, okay. Yeah. I <laughs> might <laughs> myself if I saw yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. That is crazy. I'd be like okay. I mean Yo, that makes sense. No, but, yeah. but like, <laughs> what if it was all like. Like, like Korean, like girl, like that would be weird too. Well, like, exactly. I don't know. Okay, because that might seem like a fetish a little bit. A little bit too. Like, I don't know. Like, mm, but like that's his preference. At the same time, I don't know. Well, no, so yeah. you like me because that's your preference, like not because it's me. You but know? can I say something? Okay, so I realized that I don't watch, like I don't watch with my preference. Like, it, I, I like, my preference is Jeremy, okay? Mm. And if I look in my past, m- most of my guys mm-hmm. were Asian, mm-hmm. but I don't watch Asian. Mm. What? Can I ask? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just curious. It's, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Uh-huh. Oh, God, this is It's so okay. F- Only if you feel comfortable. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's like um, things that I'm like, damn, like, I never knew this type of sh- existed okay you're just, it's let's just like, keep it let's just keep it at that like so i'm not watching, watching like freaky deaky stuff yeah low-key okay. low-key low-key low key. that makes That's sense what I'm watching. exactly that makes a lot of and sense I'm just like this is so interesting like some of them yeah. i watch for watch to get off yeah and some of them i watch because i'm just like this is crazy mm-hmm. this is absolutely like i'm literally writing notes like there are people <laughs> like this out in the world <laughs> i'm not She's kidding her research <laughs> that's so um, funny i was gonna ask though esther like when you watch <laughs> though like Cause when I used to watch, I would watch the girl. <laughs> I only the, the, you don't watch the girl. No, no, I would like it's mostly the girl for some reason. Oh yeah, I only watch the girl too. Yeah, dude, is that? I was no, like, it's yeah. a thing. It's a it thing. thing. Yeah, okay, it's good, good, good. I was like, okay, wait. I'm no, I never like, watch the boy. Okay. I'm just like, I'm only looking. It's I'm like only that's you. The, yeah. the, the penetration yes, movement, the, but I'm not. <laughs> but I'm oh not looking God, at the guy at all. Getting intense. It's like the girl, exactly. but like also the penetration part. Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I, and the thing is, I'm not turned on by girls. That's yeah. the thing. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not. <laughs> yes, in you public, know I mean, right? yes, in public, like I will admit a girl's super attractive. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. But it's not in like a but sexual would, attraction. Like, oh, I want to like you. Like, no, never like that. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, like I like women. Like I want to date and I want to have sex with women. It's yeah. never like that. It's like, I think girls are pretty and stuff, but we're like, oh, isn't that weird how we only look at the girl when we watch why is that a thing does anybody out there know because i've heard a lot of girls do the same thing like they just watch the girl you know exactly i'm gonna watch tonight and i will let you know (laughs) because i will be writing things down yes (laughs) ma'am okay that was oh oopsies all right we went a little too far (laughs) there what'd you guys think about that segment Poor them! Oh my goodness! I'm like, I, I was seeing them and just like looking. At like, I literally anyways. take I take note about everything you guys are saying, and I'm like, oh, okay, for future, for the future. <sighs> All right, last ache. Okay, I have a lot, but I'm gonna cut off, cut it off on this one. 
has a girl best friend. Ick, bye, deal breaker, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know stand from on Sydney I'm sorry. and Jackie because they have never mm. had a boyfriend and you haven't dated either, right? But what would you think, like, if you were to think about it, like, how would you react if your future man had a girl best friend? <clears throat> Unfortunately, I think I'm the jealous type, so I would not be okay with that. Okay, for sure. Yeah. I w- it would definitely bug me that they're spending time with another girl. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. what are you talking to her about that you can't talk to me about? Like, or go talk to your boys. No, you yeah. know for yeah. a fact he's talking about you to her. Exactly that too. Yeah. Oh hell no. It's just not yeah. it. Yeah, I don't think I would be okay with it. Like when you really think, I used to be like, I don't give a fuck who they're friends with. Yeah. But when I hear, because I watch your guys' podcast sometimes, or I see clips on TikTok, I will sit here and I'm literally like, damn, like. Even when we're talking about like the cheap stuff or the paying the bill, mm-hmm. I take note of everything. I'm like, oh, then that's not okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Maybe glad we open yeah. your eyes. Yeah, you guys open my eyes and things. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I would be okay with the girl best friend, to be honest. Sorry, <clears throat> Maru and Sydney. I agree. I feel like I would be a jealous type, but I've also been in the position of being yeah. like I had a guy best friend, but when I tell you like. I had no interest, like Mm -hmm. zero. Like Mm -hmm. I would literally die single before like I ever, (laughs) you know, it was like that. Like I had, let me, zero. (laughs) You know, but it's not. But I mean, I understood her, like, you know. That for the guy. Yeah, like, you know, like I would be like, a girl best friend, like. Did he like you though? No. At all. There's no way. Yeah, we don't know Yeah, we were younger. Like it was like. 15 13 mm-hmm. like up in, like it was like that like we kind of like oh, grew up a little bit together i feel like now that we're older it would probably like yeah, yeah i think it's a little di- different now but back yeah. then like when you're in like middle school high school like in in your school years like you guys are always hanging out of course like you guys are in the same vicinity yeah every single day and, like our moms were like best friends yeah. so yeah. it was yeah. like yeah. we were always when they were hanging out we were hanging out so it was yeah. like kind of like that relationship mm. oh, so yeah. yeah 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 but i mean i feel like i'd be like a little not okay yeah. with it. Imagine yeah. she's always like, she's like, oh my god. Uh, no, yeah. Jonathan, like, oh my god, I missed you. Like, you know, let me tell you all of these things. I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Because your best friend, you tell them everything. Yeah. Like, I should be your girl best friend. That's exactly. Yeah, I mean, I would try. I would be like, don't tell me anything that you guys got going on. Like, I don't want to know. Like, I don't want to be that person. Yeah. So exactly. Like, Y'all keep that over there. I, I would say. Know. What do you mean? What don't you want to know? About like, what don't, they yeah. Like, I mean, wait, why would you not want to know yeah, what like, they're talking about? I know, but I don't want, like, you That's know, why she wouldn't it, be down oh, for it. Like, she ignorance wouldn't even want to know. Okay, like, sure. Ignorance know. is bliss. Yeah. Got it, got yeah, it. Like, yeah, it would yeah. hurt you more to know about what they're talking about yeah. than, like, you two not know anything. Yeah, I mean, I, he would spill, obviously, and be like, she's like, da da da, she thinks that, and I'm like, it would like be like, dang, like what the heck? I don't like you, like, but I don't want to be like up to her, like I don't like him, like you know, like I don't uh, want yeah, her yeah, to yeah. know that he's like, uh, like you know. So it was like really hard, but I'm like, I really don't like him, like yeah. I want you to know that. But it was just like, let me. It was kind of hard to during the time that they were together. It was hard to be like. You couldn't close. even distance yourself, even if you wanted to. Technically. Yeah, For like sure. I was, I'm okay with distance, but he was like one of those, like oh, this is my best. And it was like, uh, chill out. Like, your girlfriend's like, right there. She put you at an awkward position. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it, got For it. Sure. I'm not going to lie. That was me. Like, I was, sadly, okay, I'm going to admit this. I was the girl best friend in the relationship. Um, so, <laughs> basically, I would like to say that there needs to be a boundary drawn if you do have a girl best friend or, you know, a guy best friend or whatever. Like for me, I have like close guy friends, but I'm not hanging out with them one-on-one. Yeah, Like yeah. I'm not hanging out with one-on-one and um, it's either my man is coming with me or like I have other group of friends there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Esther, would you say like your best friend is, is she a girl or like girl? Wait, what do you mean? Like who's your best friend? Like who do you consider your best friend? Oh, Besides Jeremy. Oh, oh, I was about to say, that's my only best friend. <laughs> that's kidding, I mean, no, it's Sunny. I have, a, I have a friend named Sunny. Is she she's a girl? Like Sunny. Yeah, she's a girl, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like if it's like, you can have girl best friends, but like if your best friend is a girl. 
Oh, okay. So, like, as as a, as a man, as a man, if oh, my like, man's best so friend, I get is it. A girl, I get yeah, it. you, you can ha- like if you have another best friend that's a guy, that's okay. If you have a girl best got friend, it. got like, it. Like, if you're prioritizing the girl over the guy, it's like, why? Got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> They thought I, I they thought I farted, but it was my Madden shoe. Madden farted, but don't worry. She said she. It was her boot. It was her boot. I will literally tell you guys if I farted. I'd be like, I farted. She's on. She's honest. Like, and I was like, <laughs> oh, actually, I said, oh, <laughs> that's 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 I'm kidding. It was. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I, I hundred percent get it. That's a little <laughs> odd. If 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 it's a man and his best best friend is a girl, he doesn't have yes. a guy best friend. Yeah, that's oh, crazy. Okay, mm-hmm. I've also I would be more concerned actually too. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's also because I've been cheated on by the girl best friend. Oh yeah, that's no kind of valid. Way. Kind of valid. Yeah, so valid. 100%. More than valid. Like yeah, even if you didn't experience that, I feel like your answer is valid. Yes. No, hundred percent, dude. That's- and I was like so naive back then. Like he was like, we're working together. So we'd spend nights there. Oh no! Oh, oh no, no, no. my god! That were you though. sus though before that? No, girl. Okay, yeah. Same. I was. I've been in your situation. Very chill. Yeah, yeah. Cynthia was the chill girlfriend. You were. You're the more like, um, like you were confident. Like you're yeah. just like, oh yeah, like do do your thing. Like, like you chill, know what I mean? Yeah. And and you know what? I used to be like that as well. Same. But then once, like obviously, I've been the bad person in someone's uh, relationship as well, and. Also, it has happened to me as well. And that's when I was just like, holy crap, boundaries are so important. Mm -hmm. And I'll never, ever do that again. But yeah, Mm -hmm. I did have a guy best friend. And like, we were friends for like 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. And like, he was there for me for like, for like through anything. We're like not friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of, we we both like kind of cut each other off. Um, He has a, a girlfriend and whatever. And like, she didn't like me. And I was like, but I was always very like accommodating to her and always like trying to like talk to her and like, you know, before she even came in the group, like be- mm. when they were just like talking, you know what I mean? But then I did, I did cross some boundaries. Like this is like, <clears throat> like we talk so much, which is horrible. Like we talk so much. Cause I'd be like, dude, like, like, what do I do in this situation? Like he knew everything. We also worked together. Mm. So like he knew things. So like, I would like text him, um, like, like, what do I do if this happens? Like, you know, and I'm just like, like, I would just like ask him about like guy questions as well, you know? And um, that was, yeah, like I could have been better at like putting boundaries mm-hmm. in that relationship, which I 100% like take full accountability, but like nothing happened. Like nothing literally ever happened. Yeah. He never liked me. I never liked him. Like, but it is, it is a hard thing to, for um, the other person yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, and also Understand. like you probably did like you learned from that. Like you were naive yeah. also back yes, then. Yes, yes, I was really very know. naive. So yeah. like I didn't, I didn't mean to be like malicious or like bad. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it was more so that like I appreciated him as a friend, and I was just like, this is like my best friend. Yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like I could see why that comes off so horrible to. Yeah. Yeah, that, and and this is why I stand firm when I say guys and girls can't be best friends. Like, and and hang out all the time, talk to each other all the time. Like, you could have very close like friends of the opposite sex, but if you're talking every single day, mm-hmm. you're hanging out all the time. You guys are hanging out, drinking one on one. I don't. I think you guys need boundaries for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, most definitely. Or get together, like. <laughs> Exactly. I might as well be friends that with point. the guy. Like, I just if they're in a relationship for sure, there's a respectful like exactly. Boundary. Like you would you would probably like back up just a little bit, right? No, it's so that, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah, I should have done that, and I I learned from it. Okay, I don't regret it. Mm-hmm. I learned from it, and I I, I wouldn't yeah. do it again. Yeah, yeah. With the whole like boundaries thing and like kind of like distancing yourself when they get with somebody, mm-hmm. I feel like that's how we are with our guy friends. Like whenever yeah. they start dating yeah. somebody, it's just like. Naturally, we just distance ourselves sure. a little bit, for sure, out of respect to part and of it. And they do too, like like yeah. vice, vice versa. Yeah, exactly, for sure. See, that is a super important thing to have in a like a friendship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, we have to be respectful if our friends are in like relationships and stuff. Exactly. Because I have I have friends that are dating my friends, but I'm no longer like hitting that friend up mm-hmm. you know the guy friend up because i'm just like oh yeah you're with my friend you know yeah. no, i'm, yeah. not, gonna, I'm yeah. not i'm not gonna invite you out i'm now i'm gonna i'm gonna ask the girlfriend to ask you yeah. even if yeah. you're my yes. friend does that I'm make that sense too. Yeah. i like think it's that a way too thing. Yeah. exactly yeah. 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 
Okay, men. Now we have some advice for you. Thank you guys okay. for continuing to watch. I have some questions for you guys. All right. Huh? Can I pick her up? Yeah, pick her up. Pick her up. Uh, maybe. <laughs> No, okay. Nice. I have a question. Would you guys ever date a fan? No. Oh. No? No. I think this goes with what I told you guys earlier. Oh, with, with, with what you know. Yeah. I want to say yes, but because I've run into oh, because I've run into some strange ones, mm. it wasn't really like it was just weird. It was more of an obsession. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry to say it was it, it was weird. I so see. that's why it's like 50-50. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sid? Mm, I feel like it depends on like what type of fan you are. Like if you're like, oh, like I, I love your stuff. Like I watch your stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But if you're like, man, like. <laughs> I thought you were getting like real like passionate about it. I was like, yeah, real she went real deep. <laughs> no, but if you're like crazy like stalker, like know everything about me, I'd be like, mm, yeah. Weird. yeah. Hmm. Wait, what about what about a what, okay? Let's not say like fan, but like a follower in a sense. They're like, mm. oh yeah, I follow her because she's like really pretty. Oh, and like I and I fine. and I see you. That's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. What I about think you guys? That's, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like a fan is like different. Yeah. A fan okay, is definitely too much, right? Yeah. Maru, let me know if you like kind of feel me on this. But like, mm -hmm. I think if it's like a fan, there'll be a fan of, from, of me from the podcast. That's what I was going to say. That's yes. crazy. Just and so like, yeah. I think they already have like this perception of me and like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna like feel weird, like being like myself around them. Because like oh, they have you on a pedestal or something. Oh, wait, like never mind. they have a, they have an idea going. of you, and if you and I feel like when people have an idea of you, they tend to get disappointed. Yeah, or like think like well, oh, you're not the person that I I know. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. not even sense. like a pedestal, but like just yeah. they have already an that idea of yes, you. Yes, yes, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's or, so true because yeah. we show more of our personalities because we do have a podcast and we share a lot about oh, ourselves. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, a little too it. much. I feel like. Yeah, like, it. it's cool, but like I mean, like that's kind of what getting to know someone is about, you know, like yeah. talking to them and like sharing. Like, if if this if I'm sitting next to this guy and he knows everything about me already, I'm gonna be tripped out. Yeah, like, you don't yeah, because like you don't know anything about him. Exactly. Right. Or like, oh, you mean here? And like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Crazy. yes, exactly. No, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Also, like I feel like just because most of the people that like know us or are fans of us would know us from the podcast, like. They would mm, like. I need to explain like a story if I say this, please. Um, well, like I had like an experience where I was talking to a guy who like he like he came up to us right for pictures. So like that's how I started talking to him. He was really cute, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, it just started getting weird because like I mm -hmm. felt like he just kept wanting to hang out with like our group oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like he kept wanting like he'd ask like oh like what are you what are your friends doing tonight or like and when he said that he meant like the podcast group like um or you should invite your friends mm -hmm. yeah and i don't know it was just too much like oh, it was every kind time. of like a clout thing yeah a little bit okay it that's could what be. i got from it mm -hmm. it could have not been that no yeah trust but that's just things yes if it's like too much it's like okay like yes <laughs> i would never have thought that except only for the fact that like that's how I got to know him. Like he came up to us for pictures, not just me, but like it was like me, Nick, and the group. That's, so I was just like, yeah, yeah. Wait, mm. did he ever take you on a date? Mm, yeah, multiple. No, just like I think like two. It was like barely a thing, huh? Yeah. Like, he should have. Like, it was barely even a thing. That's yeah. what was weird. Like, why are you already trying to hang out with my friends? Yeah, yeah. Why are you asking what they're doing? Like, because if it was a fat. regular like person, mm -hmm. like, and you guys were having like a regular like. Uh, dating thing mm -hmm. you're not gonna be like oh i want to meet your friends already right away right yeah, that's yeah. weird so, mm -hmm. bro and like literally like i think it was like the third link he had asked me to hang out with his friends right oh so like i was like you know what whatever like i'll go hang out with your friends but then like it i started feeling like it was a little weird just because like his friends knew who i was yeah mm -hmm. so i was like okay like is he trying to like bring me to hang out with the rest of his friends Mother, to like, like show that like like probably yeah. yeah 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 like if they yeah. all watch like imagine they like all watch the podcast together and like talk about right and stuff. like that's how i felt like he kind yeah. of brought me to like be like oh yeah i'm talking to her so i was like okay it's, it's your not, intuition yeah. yeah like you I knew just, oh yeah mm -hmm. you knew 
I look at you right away. I, I think like, when they start weird. asking about your friends or like taking pictures with you or yeah. anyone around you, I automatically take that as like they have a different intention behind why they're exactly. I feel me. like it's different when they try to just hang out with like my girlfriends because you know a lot of guys do that. Like they're like, oh, like oh, you know, like let's hang out. Like I'll bring my guy friends, you bring your the girlfriends. girlfriends. Yeah, but like no, it's different when it's like the podcast group. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent, and he should have taken you way, on way more dates and been more focused on you <laughs> yeah, first right. yeah. before asking about your friends. Okay, Listen to your intuition. Yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. exactly. All right. So, <clears throat> what's the most attractive thing that a man could do? Like, what's what's getting your pussy all it. tingly? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I just love attentiveness. Like, okay, and I think I discovered that <clears throat> when we went to New York. I really find it attractive when a guy's like, oh, do you need anything? And it's like the bare minimum, yeah, probably. Who did that for you, girl? Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, in <laughs> no, general, yeah. like, if a guy does that or, like, just making sure that I'm okay, mm-hmm. even I'm fully fine, but they're they're literally just checking on me. I, I like that a lot. No, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Only to you, though, right? Because I know guys are only that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. a okay, my man's say- giving everyone a drink. <laughs> okay, I'm no, but like, like Esther, like, also, sometimes it's attractive when, like, they got your friends, too. Like, I don't know, y'all are all going yes. out together as a group. Uh-huh. And then they, like, offer your friend a drink, too. Yeah. On top of you. Like, oh, okay. That, oh, that's fine. Like, yeah. if, like, okay, does your friends all want a shot as well? Then yeah. I'm like, yeah. 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 But, okay, but there's... Have you ever heard of the Perilla Leaf theory? No, what no. is that? Is it a theory? I'm not yeah, sure I mean, if it, it is. No. But yes, do you know you what... Have. I have? Yes, you know what it is. is. How are you gonna tell me? <laughs> she doesn't know. Okay, Perilla well, Leaf. Jungkook talks about it all the time. Okay, let me Perilla let me tell you that. Okay, Jungkook, your man. Oh, is that a Genie? Genie. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yes. It's a sesame leaf or a Perilla she, leaf. She whatever. Saw, in oh, Japanese Genie. or something. I know it's a, a little different than a, a, a sesame one. leaf. Yeah. Okay. Tell but me about it. okay, so basically, it's a side dish, right? Korean side dish and it's called genip oh, and it's goodness. very hard to lift with your chopstick mm, like it, it's the white ones hard. right the spicy wet ones yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yes. the white ones the white no, no, no. ones the white ones yeah, the yeah, yeah. Ones like rice ones. paper you know how it like sticks together like it's kind of like, hard yeah. it. it's like that it's, it's, so, leaf. it's so thin that like you need to be kind of skilled with your chopsticks in order to like pick one up and put it on your rice right mm-hmm. so if <laughs> if your friend was struggling to pick that up right and your man like sees that and picks up a perilla leaf for her and puts it on her rice. Bro, how would you feel? Uh, how, <laughs> how would you guys feel? I would feel some type of way. I'm. I would expect him to have like tap me and be like, "Yo, help her" or something like that. And exactly. I do it it's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why are you helping my friend? Like, I'll do it. The fuck, exactly. Like, because that means because someone was like, that means that he was being a little too attentive to your friend. Yeah, like, yeah. why are you even noticing that? <laughs> and also, she if she didn't say, like, can someone help me? Like, you're jumping to it. Oh yeah. Aww. Okay, Captain, <laughs> save a friend. Captain, <laughs> save a friend over here because my real. friend ain't a hoe. But <laughs> <laughs> why you? Why you say? Even her. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was gonna bring up that before. Like, no one likes a Captain Save a Bum, you know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. attentiveness exactly. without being a Captain Save a Bum. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but 100 percent I agree with you. Attentive man is literally everything, but as long as he's not attentive to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if that's just the type of person he is to like everybody, then it's like not as special. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for sure. That's a good one. Yeah. It makes you feel all like warm. Feel special, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. What about you guys? I feel like when they like pay attention to like details, like if you've talked about something and then like say it comes up later on and they're like, oh yeah, like I remember you said da da da, da and I'm like, do you remember oh. that I said that? Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. What about you, Cynthia Maru? I like a smart, funny guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Smart, funny guy. That when sounds he- like. Nick. <laughs> Not kidding. Not kidding. No, Nick's, Nick's like a I smart, funny guy, but he's Nick. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think that's so funny how every single time like we talk about Nick, you guys are just like, okay, but not him. Like, but he is him. <laughs> no, yeah. Hey, like any ladies out there, like Nick is a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because we get shipped with like all the boys yeah. like way too much. We're like <sighs> literally yeah <laughs> wait who do you guys get shipped like who do you get shipped and you are is it only sean uh, no locate everybody yes but like everybody, everybody. Yeah. i've seen you sean and nick i've seen you Devin and i was about nick. to say i saw an edit of her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I no, like, you guys. if okay. i didn't know you guys i would literally also be on that 
right. I said, oh. Hold on. No, yeah. Hold the on. way Jackie thought me and Sean were possibly yes, a thing okay. was crazy. I, told I, Maru, I was like, I like just you know maybe no. is that Anybody? a possible thing? I was, I, Maru, even I was Esther this up on the podcast, yeah. but like I was gonna say, everyone needs to stop these <laughs> ships because <laughs> like y'all really like convince everybody, and it's just like a like no, yeah. two seconds in the podcast. It is so convincing. I repost so every convincing. single edit, y'all. Bro, I yes. watch it. Yeah. Do you ever think about like men <laughs> like thinking on. that? Yes, like yes. for real. It actually happens. And also, oh. like Devin and I have honestly just gotten like closer these days because like we go to raves, like we've been snowboarding, mm-hmm. like we just like got closer. And like I hate that people are making it like Yeah, I saw something about that. Is too. this like high school? Like no, I'm sorry. Like Wait, I know yeah. you guys just mean like, high school like so far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm in high school. I've been reposting yeah. I'm like this is so cute. I think it's cute, but I understand what you mean. It makes it uncomfortable because yes. when I used to film when we lived. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I did have a crush on this one guy, mm-hmm. but I feel like whenever I filmed with any guy, any guy to this day, if I film with them, it's automatic like, oh my God, they're so cute together. I ship you guys together. Exactly. Yeah. And it just makes be it jumping to sh- Exactly. I've had a guy literally tell me like they didn't want to film with me anymore because we kept getting those comments. Exactly. Oh, and I was really? Like, yeah. Dude, and Esther, in my head, good. I was literally like, it's not that deep, but I respect like if he didn't f- with got that, it, I, I get it. it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Like, yeah, Devin is such like a good friend like to me. Like we're just good friends. Like I hate to see like it being awkward or like it's just like weird. I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah. Is he okay. uncomfortable as well? Is he just like damn or is he like laugh? Does he laugh? No, about he kind it. of gets uncomfortable too like in yeah. the moment. Like mm-hmm. we kind of like just like sit there. Like Nick, like they joke about it. I get it, but like uh, yeah, I was going to say like part of it Nick, you need to stop. <laughs> okay, part for of sure. it is our podcast fault because we kind of like feed it in, fed into it like yeah. a little bit recently i thought it was a joke i didn't know that you guys it was a joke it was no it's a joke but the thing is though like people can't differentiate that sometimes yes and i feel like i can't like be like authentic with like my friends because they're gonna start like no yeah we were doing the whole (laughs) seven seven it was like obviously a joke but people like took it seriously yes literally and sometimes the edits go more viral than our actual podcast (laughs) videos so like it's just like Dude, Dude, I'm not gonna lie. lie. I love the edits only because they're so attention to detail, yeah, y'all. Yeah, and I'm just crazy. like, yeah. uh, they see like the little thing. Like, let's just say, like, Devin is just like, oh, like, they'll, they'll do that to you. They're like, oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> they're convincing me. Dude, like, and like, and they're you're like, like, wait, did that really why is he really yeah, looking like, at me like that? He's loving <laughs> me right now, yeah. Like, no, it's, no. No, seriously, it's like you could be talking and like obviously everybody's staring at you when you're talking, right? But they like make you specifically (laughs) slow-mo look up and and down. Like no. Back then when I used to sit next to Nick, I used to be shipped with Nick. Never with Devin, ever. It's just because I sit next to Devin now. Like they just ship and Maru sits next to Sean. Like it's just like the frame that they could cut out and like make an edit of. But you guys can't like switch seating. We can, can. but like that's just how we sit, you know? I see, I see. Yeah. Got it, got it. I get it, but man, you know what? If you're if you want to make edits of me, then go for it because I love seeing those. I'm over here like, dude, it's so dramatic, and I'm just like the songs they put, and I'm just like, they have yeah. a talent. Yeah, I pay you. Them. I, I, I literally talent, pay though, you. Sure. Patience, dude, talent, and everything. Exactly. No. And and this is super random, but like I see edits of like K drama moments, mm. and I'm just like, oh shoot, like I need to watch this drama because it's so dramatic. When I watch the actual drama, I'm like. It was it's nothing not like, like this. It was like, it's not, it wasn't even that dramatic. <laughs> yeah. But the yeah. person that edited this clip made it so crazy dramatic that mm. I, it made me want to watch it. Mm. So I get it. I get yeah. it. it. They the take one, it out of context for oh, sure. Oh, for sure. And the ones of you and Jeremy that are super cute. I've mm. seen them. I see those two, yeah. Repost, mm. like, comment. <laughs> and, I'll, and, I, and I'll pay you. Uh, come come find me. Yeah. Anyways. Um, alrighty. Damn, I'm blind. I can't see you. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so how do you know if a girl actually likes you as opposed to just being nice? Mm, that's a good question because mm. I feel like a lot of guys don't know. Mm-hmm. Wait, like, <clears throat> like some guys think that you like you like them, but in reality you're just being nice. Oh yes, okay. or or you could just have a flirty personality. Not, which not like how do we tell if a girl want like likes you as a friend type of thing, or if they just don't f- with you? We're talking yeah. about for a guy. Yeah, for, for, for a guy. guy yes, oh, okay. yes. Repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can see it. Uh, yeah. How do you know if a girl actually likes you as opposed to just being nice to you? This is for men. Um, if she's like, okay, this is me personally. I don't know about other people. But like, if she's super confident around you and can be herself, she probably doesn't like you. <laughs> like, Wait. 
<laughs> me personally yeah, if i yeah. have a crush on a dude bro like i get so shy he probably thinks i hate him like yeah. i will literally talk to everybody else but that person Ooh, yeah. yeah yeah i know a lot of people like that like i can't make yes. eye contact with i was you. just yeah, about yeah. to say if yeah, i can yeah, if i can, I can hold so like, how are they gonna you? know how are they gonna what what is the subtle you signs that you would give them i don't even know what's what the subtle signs would be it's kind of just like i'm for me personally i just expect a guy i've told you this before you know this too like if i like a guy i think my friends would just know because i wouldn't act that way in front of any other guy but how would the guy know I don't know. I'm not treating any other guy like this. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> men out there, if the girl's coming to everyone else except for you, <laughs> she likes you. Oh, yeah. Most okay, definitely. Facts. Most Unless you're definitely. So just, just, yeah, just look. Imagine imagine he's <laughs> actually <laughs> making you uncomfortable so you're not going to him, but he's like, yeah, she likes she you. Likes she, me. I'm oh, the only yeah. person. <laughs> I mean, read the, the room. Read the room a little bit. <laughs> Or like if you're trying to talk to her and like she can't look you in the eyes and she's looking down and like she literally yeah. can't talk, that's probably because she's intimidated by you and she likes you. Or your breast stinks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What are the other? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the hard thing because I feel like I think it's each person. Sorry. It, it I was about to say because. I'd be choked girls. up talking to people that I don't like you, but it's just, <laughs> I'm like so awkward and like shy. I'm like, yeah. How but do you, I'm like, mm-hmm. mm, get away from me, please. Yeah. <laughs> what it's, about what people you do like? How do you act? Um, I don't know. I'm like a naturally like giggly person. Mm. Like, even if what you're saying probably isn't funny, I'm going to laugh because I oh, want you to you. be like, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. you know, like, I'll be like, oh, ha, ha. They're like, oh, she's, she's a pity laugh for her. That's yeah. what she is. Wait, that's also a good one, dude. They're like, oh, like, I see her dimples. I'm like, no, like, I just like they're this. there. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not, it's not you, it's me. But I'm like, um, I don't know. That's, I really I can don't tell know. Cindy, like I think you just said a good one right now. Like, if they, if you laugh at, like, their <laughs> jokes. Yeah, I'm like, like yeah. <laughs> Mm. I'd be like giggly also like this is like a little later into it but like if she, <laughs> are you okay yeah. I heard that so many times but I didn't know you were hitting yourself I thought you were just <laughs> it was um no but I was gonna say if they're if she's not texting you first mm. then she doesn't like you if you're always the one texting oh. her first I will Ow. say though I'm just a bad texter and sometimes I don't know how to reply mm. like there's this guy that I did like mm-hmm. and <sighs> And I messed up because I would answer late, but it's because I would try to think of something to reply and I didn't want to sound stupid. Come back oh. to her if you're saying this. No, he has a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, don't. Yeah. yeah no. But yeah, I've messed up in that. You know who I'm talking about. I know. No, I but like if you wanted to, you would. You know. You yeah. Would. Well, he, no, I will say he was very good at texting me. It was just, I didn't know how to reply because mm. I feel like I'm already a dry, everyone calls me a dry texter and I know Ooh. that I am. So then I overthink way more on I don't want him to think I don't like him because right. everyone says mm-hmm. I don't make it obvious when I like someone mm-hmm. and I know that's true. So I, I then I over so you I overthink it, it yeah, yeah. And I messed up either way. Y'all be playing the cool girl. No, I'm not even trying to play a cool I, girl. You did it like not on purpose, just accidentally. Yeah. It just happened to be that way. You mm-hmm. know, like when no, yeah, I, I told remember. you who I liked, that you would have never. Well, you said you did from a video, but you would have oh, yeah. never guessed it. No, but like my intuition, bro. I think I'm really good at telling like when people like other people. Hmm. Yeah. Maru, who do I like right now? <laughs> Someone mm. that starts with the J and works with you. Mm. I, I think, think he owns so. a brand. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I'm not a sure. brand that like work drinking. Oh, yeah. Wait, isn't that him? Jinro? Oh. Like, <laughs> like, like him. Uh, that ain't my man. Like <laughs> That's Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> some, some, uh, some little, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Every single time I have to see him in that wig, I'm just like, he's doing it for me. <laughs> One day the money will be mine. <laughs> Whew, okay. So basically, um, <laughs> if you like somebody, nobody will know. <laughs> you know yeah, what, like, you, dude, you, with girls, it's really hard to yeah, tell, I feel yeah. like. We're really yeah. good at hiding it. Yeah. Y'all, we gotta start coming out there, okay? You don't have to ask him out, but you know, like, do a little flirting. Yes. I don't think you I know, know how to do that. Cindy, you're you're like a natural flirt, but you know, <laughs> no, I was no, like, no, 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 no. Me? No, I think you, it's just, you do it with, I don't want to say with anyone, but like, it just comes off sometimes. It's okay, yeah. let's jump like, in. Yeah, it's unintentional. Yeah, it's unintentional, yeah. but it's cute. Nice. So you can just also giggly too. That's yeah. why. So like, it's just like, girls that are like giggly, like it could come off very like cutesy mm. flirty. Like, you know, like, oh, like, 
You know, like guys love when girls laugh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So like they're just like, yeah, she likes me. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that. You know that some some guys are gonna do that. Dude, but like they're mm-hmm. not wrong. Most times, if you make a girl laugh, she probably has interest in you. True. True. Mm-hmm. I would say, if I ugly laughed, oh, <laughs> that's probably like a like oh, it's oh. a good sign. Because if I'm like, <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> clip, it's clip, like no. But like if I'm yeah. like. Bah! <laughs> Okay. Then she likes you. Then she likes you. For sure. For sure. Anyone like, else? Um, yeah. Also, I feel like if she wasn't initially attracted to you, once you make her ugly laugh. Sorry, did I say that wrong? Initially. It's okay. And she was in- oh, Madu, Madu. Closer. Oh, yeah. Even if she wasn't initially yeah. attracted <laughs> to you, like, cute. if you make her ugly laugh, she probably, like, Wait, you know what? He's kind of cute. Yeah. 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 Yep. Humor is a big thing with yes. girls, especially. It really is. Yeah. God. I got with Jeremy because he made me laugh, but now he just makes fun of me. And it's it's kind of, woof. Every single day, it's a, it's a battlefield. <laughs> now I'm just like, okay, shut up. I have to tell him shut up three times. And then he's just like, okay, okay. Like the first shut up doesn't do it. It's crazy. <laughs> At least like, he eventually shuts up. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I have to beat him up. I have to scare him. I'll do this. <laughs> Oh. Then he'd be like, he'd be like, oh, he'd be like, stop, stop, stop. Like and legit, I have so to scare. Scary. Legit, I have to scare him. That's yep. so funny. Oh I'll be like, I'll be like, if you don't stop right now, I'm gonna scare you in the middle of the night. Like I swear. He's like, Wait. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's so funny. I said I used to do that with my little brother. Like I would scare him <laughs> with the hair. Yeah. Pretend I was a ghost, and he'd actually believe like I was a devil, and he'd run away. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I do remember he would like That's scream so cute. and like yeah. run away. <laughs> like I would do like a scary smile. Pretend I was a devil. Yeah. Wait, how old is your brother? He's two years younger than me. How old am I? Oh, twenty three. Okay. Or he's turning twenty. He's turning twenty one in June. Oh, July. July. That's July. Oh so my gosh. weird. Yeah. Damn. I love scaring my little brothers and my older brothers too. I like scaring the whole family, actually. Mm-hmm. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. I can't see because I have really bad eyes. Uh, what are things that guys do that will lower their chances of not being able to get a girl? Disrespectful. Disrespectful yeah. mother. Yeah. But what kind of disrespectful <laughs> actions um, would you say? Like inconsiderate. I've seen I've seen a couple of videos where people say like when a guy is rude to a waitress and I think that yeah. is a big thing for sure. Oh, for sure. Or yeah. like how they treat their like sisters or like yeah. stuff like mom. that. Mom. Yeah. 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 Mom is a yep. big one. For sure that. 100%. You guys are so right. The waitress thing, I have seen like okay, a girl and a guy both like just be so mean and just very snappy to waitresses, yeah. mm-hmm. servers, and I'm just like, that was the this most disgusting thing I've ever yeah, seen. Honestly, literally disgusting. No, yeah. I've gone to dinner with some of my guy friends, and they'll literally, they're just so rude, and I tell them like, you don't talk to, to someone mm-hmm. like that, and they're like, I don't give a f- like she f- works here, and I'm yeah. like, that's her job. That's how you know like, that they've never like job. worked and like no, just, like, it just, worked it just blows or... my mind that that they even think that way, like yeah. that that's yeah. their mindset. It's just messed up. I don't know. But I think like that's definitely a yeah. big like no. It's I mean, so no, yeah, disgusting. that's true. Even if I hadn't worked in service, like I would have like yeah. I would be polite. Like, you're like, just uh, nice uh, to people because like, yeah, people, yeah, that's a person. Yeah. Like, yeah. excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Please human skills. Yeah. Yeah. That is so weird. Have you guys had like experience with a date being rude to a waitress? No, but my friend had. being rude to a waitress. Really? Yes, yeah. friend. 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 Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever which is like crazy because you would have never thought your friend would be like that. Yeah. And then you see that side of them and it's like, what the f- is wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. It's also not a, like, I hate to say this, but it's also not a good look on you because you're with that person. Yeah. And no, it like 100%. makes you feel very uncomfortable and you're yes. just, and then like, you're just like, like accommodate for them. Like, be like, yeah. oh, like, sorry. Like, yeah, exactly. exactly. Mm-hmm. And I'm just yeah. like, oh God. And I'm not going to mm. lie, dude. Sometimes now that people do know, like sometimes know who I am, like I have to make sure that like I gonna like treat people you know, like yeah. well, respect, yeah. yeah, with respect, like that. You should do that regardless of whether mm-hmm. or not, like, you have like uh, people know you're not. But the thing is, now you have to. You're you're being held at like a certain yeah, point. Right. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like I'm just like when my friends are being rude, I just go like, dude, like what the heck? Like yeah. don't do that. You know, yeah. especially because like I have mad respect for people in the food industry because I was in the food industry. I have a restaurant as well, so I'm just like. Do, do not treat any of my employees like that. Uh-uh. Do not like, you know, don't don't ever talk to people like that. So yeah, I'm like extra, how do you say, like extra sensitive when it yeah, comes to that stuff. Yeah. 
You know that one friend that we have that is just in general rude and will say rude things? Mm -hmm. And I'm always like, pull this person out. No. Show me a pic. I need to, I need no, to put a and face it's on like, it. To, with me, he's with like us, whatever. He's such a sweet guy. But then he makes like crazy like remarks. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, what the hell is like wrong with you? Like rude remarks or crazy? Mm -hmm. like, like both. both. <gasps> but people find it funny. And that's why I think he thinks it's okay to keep saying it. And I'm just like, dude, what the wrong with you sorry mm. for cursing but like it just yeah it's I, crazy i don't it know if so that's crazy. a genuinely nice person then i don't know if that's he's either like just no, he's not social is he like not socially aware maybe i think people around him okay it i i will call his out on it but people around him okay it and like will laugh about it which is also like disgusting to me mm -hmm. but i don't know I, I, that's why I'm just like I know like I hate people that are like that that's one thing that I would not want my future guy to be like yeah. in, in any way yeah. this friend of yours he's he or she is gonna is it he, he he's yeah. gonna get checked one day because yeah, yeah he's around people right yeah. now that's validating you know what, his remarks but like mm -hmm. when he goes out to the real world like someone's gonna be like yo that's not mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and yeah. he's gonna eventually find out mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. no I've definitely had like friend groups where they would drop like derogatory terms and like mm. people would just laugh and like not call them out for yeah. it basically. But like I would and like eventually I drop those people because yeah. they're just not good people to mm -hmm. be around with period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Is there another thing that a guy can do that makes him lose chances? I have one. Uh, yeah. When I see them liking every single Instagram girl oh, yeah. <laughs> picture, yeah. like the half naked pictures or even like just oh. any girls that you know that are, you know, out there on the inter internet. And yeah. it's just like, I see his name, his, his, <laughs> his, his name on every single one of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. when I'm just like, oh yeah, no, nope, yeah, not that's you. so true. Like you go any, you click any picture on the explore page and it's them right there. <laughs> like, yeah. No. Damn. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. That's I've, a good one. I've always said this, but I hate um when guys sag their pants like <gasps> like yeah. yeah, it's cool. Show a little Calvin Klein like ah, okay, <laughs> but the fact that your pants are below your butt cheeks and you have a belt on, like, oh yeah, that, <laughs> that is, is crazy. Weird. That is crazy. Like, Who why is wear the doing belt? That? You would know. be surprised. No, there's a lot. Okay, I literally just so drove by someone today and I was like, oh my gosh, like, what's the point of the belt? You guys, yeah. it's cute when it's a little. Yeah. That's but what like, I said. Like, yeah, yeah. little Calvin Klein. What the whole ass? Like, but yeah. <laughs> the pants are below your butt cheeks. Like, I've that's never crazy. seen this. Okay, like, if we go out tonight and we see someone with that, we're all taking shots for each booty crack. Oh, you'll see it. But you also, mean? I feel like you see it more in OC. Am I tripping? Yeah, maybe that's. You know what? There's some. I, I, you see it in LA. I, for sure. I, <laughs> you don't I, see it maybe, in LA? I like, I feel like. Yeah. I'm like, y'all don't oh see God. that in I LA? I feel like certain parts of LA. Like, I do see guys like sagging with their, like, you know. Well, yeah, if you go to like Beverly Hills, belts, you won't see like, it. But when it's below and you see their butt, like that's when it gets crazy. Yes. Her, I, I I haven't seen that. I've only seen a homeless guy <laughs> just holding his pants up. But other than that, like I, I'm not seeing people like back in the day. Yes, it used to be worse back in the, the day, time. but I'll not recently. <laughs> no, yes. Send really, really, please send me a picture because I I need to know. Every time we see someone with the pants no, under the butt cheek, like, just yes, just take a think picture, of send it. Or usually like, like skinny, skinny jeans, huh? Skinny jeans. Oh. That's what's even crazier. Like, <laughs> what the heck? It's not even their baggy. Like their skinny jeans and uh -huh. is that an egg? Skinny jeans. Yeah, that's yes. that oh, is an egg. You guys said it wasn't an egg. Skinny <laughs> jeans, but when they're usually sagging with the skinny jeans, it's like uh. leg warmers almost. Like, <laughs> how do they even walk? No, I actually straight? will say that no, is a big yeah, egg. Yeah, they walk like sideways. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, you know the with walk, their like, spread, like, They be waddling, <laughs> like yeah, waddle, waddle, yeah. That's what it is. with their knees like this. Yeah. Yes, and so then they're like, oh, this is. I will say skinny jeans too, though, even if it's like. <laughs> leggings like no it's it's okay sometimes to wear skinny jeans i get it you know do your thing but when i was in mexico oh <sighs> there was this one guy and i was like oh my god he's kind of cute mm -hmm. but every day like every night we went out to like these parties not like me and him like yeah it, it's a, like a little pueblo so everyone's in that one little jardin dude he was wearing skinny jeans and i was like <laughs> <laughs> no dude. but like sometimes it's way too skinny With, it's like, like the high top converse oh, and it looks like it hurts or like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like yeah. it looks like crazy. it hurts. it's crazy it looks like it like, hurts can you sit down in those yeah, yeah. oh my god Literally. no Gosh. that's crazy yeah those are icks that's an ick to me okay sure. so okay so we have to go back to when you guys <laughs> the fashion thing <laughs> it's not an ick it's an ick <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Is it that, that would be my only oh. probably like fashion oh. ick that I'm like, mm-mm. Like, you guys like, said you guys will be okay with it, but you, you guys are just gonna yeah, be like, Yeah, like hey, crazy yo. fashion, but that's just, that's that's a little beyond. Yeah, see, they think they got that sh- on. Like, that's <laughs> what I was talking about. Like, you no, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Pull your pants no, up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. Anything so else? True. Like what is going to turn you off? Like lower the chances of a man getting a girl. Honestly, mm. if they're just like a dog, honestly. A dog. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, you know what I hate? I mean, they're not going to get me for sure, but if you're out like at a bar and you see a guy will come talk to you, whatever, they buy you a drink and you politely decline, whatever. And then they automatically go, go to, to your like, friend. to your friend oh. or, and then if your friend declines, it's just like, he's just going. He's just go thirsty. Around. Yeah. He's thirsty. That's, That's crazy to me. Right. Immediately. Yeah. When they go to my friend, immediately. I'm like, oh, no, Ew. bye. We're leaving. Or even if they're with your friend and they come to you, it's like, yeah, are you like, serious? No. You yeah. Think? Yeah. That's, that's happened. And I'm just yeah. like, bye yeah i've never experienced that for myself like i never looked at a group of guys and i was like <laughs> <laughs> if I he doesn't all say all yes, of them like no you, gotta choose one. you guys exactly literally recently uh he in anaheim yeah me and my girlfriends went and like there was this one guy who was like talking to me earlier like whatever and then i was i wasn't with my uh group of friends but like when I was back with my group of friends, like him and his friend were like next to us. And I literally overheard them saying like, oh wait, nah, like her friend, like this <gasps> one's kind of fine. Like this one's low key better. No. And like his friend was saying like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no. And immediately I turned to my friend and I like told her everything. We're like, we're leaving. Like, yeah, okay. That's, yeah. that's actually it was disgusting. Literally does gross. that happen in all guy groups? Because like, I feel like it does. damn, I'm actually, I feel like most. You know what's crazy? I feel like, most yeah i think it's disgusting to hear it but you know i mean i've never approached a guy but i, I i've heard girls I was just be about like to say, yeah i've heard like, girls be like oh but his friend's cuter it's okay but like inevitable at clubs i know that. i know oh, i sure. know that there could be different intention or like a different way of saying it but but i also like, feel uh, like girls say more respectfully yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah definitely we're like okay no he's cuter but like the yes. fact that they were like comparing the terms like no she's yeah. better like but, and like actually, also wait, like if i thing. approach a guy like it mm. was like the guy approached me like if i approached a guy and like mm. was interested and i talked to him i wouldn't then be like oh wait oh, no, his that's friend's cuter. No. you know no, 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 no. yeah like that's why i feel like it's like different oh no that's that's when it's for sure disgusting yeah, yeah. it's not right either way and girls and guys both do that yeah i have heard girls say like really really mean bad things the thing that the thing is that when you're at a club it's gonna be inevitable because yeah. girls not not every girl not every guy but like most of the time you're going there to have fun but also meet guys yeah. and then vice versa guys are going there mean. to meet girls right so they're gonna try to hook up or like talk to the baddest girl or baddest guy whatever you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying so i'm like club is not necessarily the best place to find respect it's respectful not, yeah. guy yeah. you know what i mean or a girl you know what i'm saying not i'm not saying that like you're a bad person if you go there i'm just saying that like you're not gonna don't expect to hear like wow she's so beautiful stunning yeah. like like i just want to buy her dinner you know you're not yeah. gonna hear that you're gonna Even be like yeah she's do, fucking like, it's fine fake. or like you know like, you're gonna hear that type of language yeah right honestly yeah. no you're right <laughs> yep 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 so anybody anybody I would never go to the club to look for a man I only go to hang with my girls because all the men there not good intentions and Mm -hmm. musty Mm -hmm. yep 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 same is it the club that we went to for models yes oh Oh, dude there's one time oh that's he yeah 
Oh yes. my god. That place is yeah, it's crazy. She almost she almost got into yeah. a fight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that yeah. place is gets We were wild. telling on their podcast, we were telling them the story about when you were like getting buffed by the girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just a girl. Oh, I'm so, so small. Little, like, You're so little. Yeah. Literally, I was like she was like boom. Every single time I was like, I was like, damn, I'm like, this is me the whole time. I'm not really I'm not dancing, I'm just getting hit. Yeah. Like the whole time. Like <laughs> You're not like, bumping so your head, bad. you're actually no, getting hit. No, I'm getting like, hit. I'm getting hit. Jackie was just like Jackie's like like she was like my my bodyguard she was just like uh uh-uh. uh she's like no like yeah because you're, you're, you're so small I was like let's switch spots and then she <laughs> I I put we let her through we did, because I thought she was we genuinely thought she was trying to just cross the club because we were in a <laughs> crowd and then she stayed there which is like you know what go crazy but she, the her friends were like fans of y'all mm. right I think I don't know they took pictures yeah. with you too oh not with me Cynthia. not me with Cynthia okay oh, so I, she said hi mm-hmm. so yeah wait that was a that was a fan the one that was hitting me no 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 not all those girls got it, got it. but they were together oh and then I put my hands up because it felt like they were trying to like push us forward and I didn't want our group to separate so I just went like this like you know naturally yeah. mm-hmm. and. She got so mad and she started telling me things and I was like, what the, like, this is, I don't I'm not going to do anything. Like I just, you're pushing us and yeah. I'm trying to make sure our group doesn't separate, but she was really No, upset. she was genuinely like pushing me. Like, yeah. yeah. Yep. Esther, y'all, Esther's really small. I'm so sorry, Esther. You're, she's small. So to see her being pushed around by these, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm small, but crazy. I could beat everyone up. It's just that I don't because I am way older than I <laughs> wish I was. Yes, you're taking the high road. <laughs> taking the high road, y'all. <laughs> okay, guys. What is the best first date ideas? Mm. What's a fun non-first date some. idea as well? Because people have different ideas of what a good first date is, right? Yeah. So Jimmy was like, Dave and Buster's is a good first date idea. Yep. Wu Talk said no. Wu Talk was like, that's a horrible first date idea. I don't like Dave and Buster's. Okay. Well, as a date. I like uh-huh. Dave and Buster's the uh-huh. first date. Okay, oh, but you know, cute. it's it's always different. It's always different. But like Wu Talk was like the best first date is to take a girl to get cocktails, and I was like, okay, to get her drunk. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. He he thinks that like uh, for first dates, people could be a little more like you know like nervous and stuff, and like mm-hmm. grabbing like a light drink is good, and then like talking at a more intimate like setting. Uh, where you're not like shoving, like, you know, like when you go to dinner and stuff, you're shoving your face with food or like, you know, just, yeah, yeah, it could be a little awkward, I guess. But like when you're getting drinks and, you know, it relieves that tension and then you guys are more intimate, not eating anything, no distractions. Like if you're at Dave and Buster's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like that's, that, that was his like reasoning. What is, where would you guys like to be taken out? Mm. Okay, wait, you know what I say? I wouldn't like Dave and Buster's as a first date is because like, I like the cocktail idea. It's like you sit down, it's intimate. I don't really like dinner either. That's a little weird. But like with Dave and Buster's, it's like you play a game. I, I just feel like it's gonna be awkward. Like mm-hmm. you're just like walking around. Like, what do we do? We're not holding hands. Like, mm. but, but there's so many like, games. You guys can be competitive. I guess, I guess. Two, there's a bar. Yeah. I like the Dave and Buster's idea only because like sitting and talking that is like you know, the like scariest that. first date to me ever. Mm-hmm. So I would want to be like get comfortable first, and I feel like that's like a great idea. Like, oh, let's go play games. Yes. And once I'm comfortable, yeah, like we can go sit down and like talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I told Wu Talk that if if you're like like sitting super intimately one on one, then it could be awkward for a lot of people unless that other person could lead really well. Like Wu Talk's yeah. really good talker. So yeah. I understand like him being able to like guide uh his date and like make them feel comfortable. Yeah. But I feel like I've met a lot of people that aren't good at that. Yeah. yeah. They're very quiet. So I'm just like, I don't know if that would work on like two quiet people. Yeah. Oh for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? It feels a little yes. intimidating. I- exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm a yapper, so. If I was a yapper, I wouldn't mind that, but I'm not, mm. so. Do you like yappers? Like, would you prefer a guy that is a talker, though? I would. I say yes, but then sometimes when they don't shut up, it's like. Yes! <laughs> like, I, oh, I don't even want to get into this, but I'm, like, such a quiet person. Like, I would, there's a time for yapping, and there's a time to, you like, like your shut up. Yeah. yeah. When they don't understand that difference, I'm like. Oh hey. my god. I'd be yapping. i be yapping, but I know when Sydney's annoyed, so I can <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah. Because I when I'm comfortable with certain people, I will I can talk. Especially because I'm like comfortable with you. I will literally yeah. Maru, you drop me off at home and we'll literally 
sit there and talk forever like two hours yeah Yeah, so i don't (laughs) i don't mind it like you can yap but don't get upset when i'm not like I'd be so sad. I'm like, yes. there, listen, and I'm like, no, it's no, so yeah. sad because Sydney would literally just be like, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, my time to shut the shut hell the up. Fuck up. Yeah. Shut no, up, I just, I really, sometimes I just don't have anything to say, so I'll just be like, I'm listening, and I'll like reply like, yeah, no, yeah, no, for but you real. You can tell you don't care. It's so sad. <laughs> I do though. Like I'm oh, really Jackie. listening. I am listening. I just sometimes I like I just have my mute moments, and I'm like I know observing that, I know. for yeah. sure. Totally valid. <laughs> Do you guys, do you, Maru, have any first aid <sighs> ideas where you're just like, yeah, I would want a guy to take me on this? I can't think of like any ones that I would like, but I just know like I hate the whole like um, going to a restaurant first date. Mm-hmm. Really? Yes, because like I like to eat my food comfortably. Yeah. And like I don't want to think about like having to stop eating my food and then talking. Like mm-hmm. I just want to eat my food, but it's like if I keep eating my food, then like it's going to be awkward. Mm-hmm. And that's happened before <sighs> that I have to like drop my food talk and then eat again but really i'm just trying to eat imagine mato's getting all upset the date's talking mato's like, <sighs> like goes, yes, yes. <laughs> no <laughs> she's like yes puts the four down no. colors <laughs> pink <laughs> that's like, so yeah, funny colors. because like that's what's going on in my head but like i don't show it on the outside i'm like yeah but like and yeah, then like, let me like, eat, eat my eat. food okay like, this is why i hate first dates eating like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so i see where talk is coming from I, I see where you guys are coming from so i guess I didn't even think of that. Yeah, exactly. you, no, no. A lot of people have been telling me about how they don't want to go on dinner dates anymore. This used to be like a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like you have to take your date on, you know, out to dinner and maybe drinks. But nowadays, people want to do like more, a little more casual things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then they could like be more, how do you say it? Oh, for sure. Like free. Mm-hmm. Like dinner is more so like a commitment, I yeah. think. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not going on a date unless there's food. But I mean... I also, I think Esther, you're a very good talker. I feel like yeah. Esther's a Dude, very good talker. Yeah, I, I'm a little too perfect at it. <laughs> overboard. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people have to tell me to shut up. But anyways, I um, need Esther in like a boy form. Yeah. Like, Yo, that's Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like we we literally look at each other. We're like, no, they're so perfect. No, low key. Jeremy is so perfect, perfect for each other. Yeah. yeah. When you but guys we, are together, it's like yeah. parents. Like that's yeah. Yeah. when we went to yeah. dinner. I heard that all the time. I'm like Esther we're is old. mother. When yeah. we went to dinner, we were literally like, oh my god, they're perfect for <laughs> yeah. each other. We're we're just two wacky people. Like I love it it's though. So cute. It's cute. Um, yeah. Well, with dinner. If it's like, I like trying like new foods too. So if it's like a spot that he's like trying to put me on, like he's like, hey, like um, I know what to get here. And he's like kind of taking charge. He's like, try this, try this. Like I'm down for it because that's like an experience. But if it's like, you you know, let's go to B-dubs. Okay. (laughs) Wait, what about (laughs) that? And like they're feeding you stuff too. Yeah, they're like, like, try this. this. Exactly, yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. What what about if he wants to take you on a really fancy, fancy restaurant? Would you not want to go? Well, I'd still go, but like, I don't think. (laughs) 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 I'm there for the experience, but like, would it be the perfect ideal first date for me? No. No, No, okay, got it, got it. Okay, honestly, a good one for me is snowboarding. Oh, really fun. Yes. But when can you like really truly talk? On the lift. Okay, on the lift. In the car. Oh, dude, so that cute. is romantic. Wow. Like going up with the view and everything. Yeah, and it's like fun. We just be like going down together. I have a question. Really? Yes. What if he sucks? And 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 you're and he was just like, I have never been snowboarding, <laughs> but <laughs> I got you there. It's like I've never been snowboarding, but you know, I would like to go because I've been wanting to go and I would like to go with you. And you're over here like, hurry the f- up, you know, like you're okay, so slow. actually you keep falling off that thing. <laughs> like it's such an ick. Like what <laughs> what are you doing? If Okay. I've been with a guy who sucked. He's never gone, but he wasn't open to going. Like he, I would ask him all the time to come mm. with. I was like, I'll teach you. But I think he was embarrassed mm. by it. That so if sense. I'm with the guy who sucks, but he's open to like learning from me and like open to like being embarrassed and like falling, then I'm I'm cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, we yeah. gotta wait for him. Like he's stuck. He's stuck all the way up there while you're just like down there like eating a hot dog or whatever. You know what I mean? I'll, no, I'll wait for him to like get down. But like I just wouldn't go with him all the time. I'll go got with it, my friends. It, it. Okay. You sweet, know, every sweet. once in a while. So maybe maybe a good thing is to talk about interest and ask them if they want to do something that the girl is interested in. Yeah. Like yeah. she likes snowboarding. What do you guys like doing? I like the beach. I feel like a date at the, the beach. The beach is a nice. good one too. <laughs> That's it. What? Look at me. 
What? Does she like the beaches? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what are you looking at? No, I'm so With sorry. With the blanket. No, what you, no, you, you want to do is cute. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I think you made eye contact. Oh. <laughs> what? Um, but... Um, they don't want to do oh what I want to do. Yep. I want to know what you want to do, I wanna Sydney. Know. I'm curious. What, do you do? what about the beach that it you can't be that skinny crazy. dipping? Oh my what? Oh my on the beach, what is it? What movies? On the beach is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, you want sand I would in your booty never want to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> do you want that abrasive sand in your freaking Hell cheeks? What no. you got? Oh, sorry. Wait, I've done it before. Huh? You've done it? How was the experience? It was, was it like, ten? There wasn't sand like everywhere, but it was quick. Like we were also it was like there was no one there because it was like late at night and mm -hmm. we were like under a bridge. Uh, <laughs> I would like to say I would like to say that that's a federal like, you before she said the bridge. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> it wasn't like night, it was like sunset, like the sun was like going down. Also it was okay. still up. <laughs> like it was dark. You know what I mean? And there wasn't people around. All right, Jeremy, oh, hit me up if you're down, <laughs> but make sure that uh, I'm not. I don't know if I want to It was discreet. We had like blankets and stuff. Let's see. For sure. That's kind of hot, I guess. <laughs> Wait, what are y'all laughing about? Jackie, spit it out. Spit it out now. I'm going to treat you like Lulu. Spit it out right now. <laughs> spit it out. It's not even funny. I just made eye contact with her and I was like, <laughs> hey, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, moving, moving on. I fucking oh, got it. You did. We have no answer. I have oh, no he's answer been to going that. at no, it all day. day. Yeah. Yeah. When you were like, hey, you guys, yeah. I'm like, that's city, like, I have nothing to say. Okay, it's literally just her face, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you face. said that's yes. Her face. Okay. We, we both look at each other. Like, what the Wait, you guys haven't answered the question. That's where why would... I was laughing. Oh, because you have no answer? Yeah, I have you no You have no answer. Oh. Where would you like to be taken out on a date? I have no clue. Would you guys like a view? Oh, like hiking to oh, go to... Oh, I like views. I love oh, views. Oh, I like hiking. But Not like honestly, 10 miles and all no that. Oh, yeah. No. Cute little hike. Yeah. Exercise on the first date is a no for me. No. I feel like a little walk <laughs> is like nice too. Like a, a little walk is, is okay, but... I know view that's really freaking beautiful but it's not a whole workout you just you know where we over went the, for that one over birthday? the rocks oh <laughs> with the clip yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. oh that wait is it near cool. here mm, it's in um it's going towards malibu yeah mm. oh my god what is it called oh my god is it um signal hill no oh no. that's is it isn't that in is that not in long beach wait, wait is that it's in long beach yeah yeah right oh my god what is that place called i I'm don't so know i know well. yeah not you going like <laughs> it's a view there's rocks i'm like oh okay like it's like a <laughs> i know the name it's like a kind of even... like a secluded little beachy area but you have to like climb over rocks but then also at the top they have like this really like tall cliff and you can see it's, like it's it is a beach cove? if you like at the bottom of the no no, no 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 at the bottom of the cliff like there is like it's a whole beach for people but um if you go up the hill in your car of course oh for sure you literally yeah. just walk to the cliff and it's a beautiful view the sunset is freaking beautiful Ooh. i've always thought like if you guys know comment down below and let all the people know yeah because i'm gonna trip <laughs> <laughs> i wait in malibu in malibu i think i know what you're talking are there like hella <clears throat> squirrels there I don't know. That people like feed? I think I found squirrels no, there. No. Oh, no, 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 okay. No. <laughs> okay. When you find out, let us know. Okay, okay. Find out right now. Just you wait. Anybody else have a date idea that... I like activities. activities? I'm like an active person. <clears throat> yes, I like activities. So you would want to do something sweaty on the first date. You're like down for I don't know about it. like sweating, but like bowling. Like okay, that's cute. okay like for sure, for sure. Cute. Roller skating, something like... That's cute. Would you Gosh. be okay Point with... Mm. Yes. What is it called? Point Doom. I'm so sorry. That doesn't that sound very pleasant. No, it is. Point, <laughs> point it Doom. Familiar. I'd be like, they're like, do you want to go to Point Doom? I'm like, <laughs> do you, Emmy? -E. Oh, okay, I was about to say. It. I was like, D O O M. I'm like, I don't know if I want to go there. Imagine your first date asking you that. I'm just like, yeah. Point yeah. Doom. Let's, <laughs> let's go to let's go to like Mastros or something. I don't oh, know. Yeah, point yeah. Doom would be crazy. Like, Disney. Exactly. I mean, like, I'm Disneyland, good. amusement park. I, I love him. Amusement I've park. actually I'm been on a first date to Disneyland. Really? How was that? Yeah. It no, was. It was. Uh, it was cool but then you have to think about how if you don't really like that person you have to stay there the for lies. hours yes. that's the problem you got a good point i feel like that's a good like third date yeah. yes exactly exactly so i was just like thinking those activities that require oh those, this is su super cute yeah 
pull up that photo right here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I feel like things that require a lot of hours is may not be the best first date just in first case date. you want it out. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say my social battery is like <laughs> so I'd be at Disneyland like <laughs> and they're talking I'm like Do you like going with friends though? Or still no? Because it is like hours and hours of like being out. So I'll be drinking the whole time I'm there though. Probably. At Disneyland, they only have like two spots you can drink, which is so sad. I don't know, California yeah. Adventure. But California, 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 yes, California yeah. Adventure, yes. But Disneyland yeah. Park, only like two, one to two spots, I think. Star Wars. In, Star in, Wars. Yes, yeah. Star yes, Wars, yes. Yeah. Which sucks. So you have to pregame yeah. before. Mm. Um, yeah. So bowling is good. Would you be okay with your man like, or, or the guy you're going on a date with kind of like teaching you how to play things? Like mm-hmm. pool? Like it's okay if he's mansplaining a little bit. Mm, so actually, we hear like wait. the history of pool. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. oh hell no. <laughs> Not the history. Is it? Not the history. <laughs> I think no, because like I am a competitive person. So I'm oh. just like, I'm going to do it myself and I'll win anyways. Oh, like, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, so no more of that. Because I feel like guys love to teach girls how to do things. Like, mini golf or like even just regular golf they like to do that whole romantic thing where they're behind you and they Mm, try to mm. do that you don't like that you know what if it's genuinely something (laughs) get the fuck out (laughs) if it's genuinely something that i don't know how to do and i want to learn then i'll Mm. i'll learn but i'm not gonna play dumb yeah yeah Yeah. to make that happen yes yeah exactly exactly yeah (laughs) no i wouldn't like that you don't like it all right, well, guys, just find out what she likes to do and take her. Take her there. For sure. Activities are fun. Maybe not things that are too sweaty. Mm. All right. <laughs> Semi sweaty is okay. Okay, I got so Now we got to go to the questions from the audience, y'all. Okay, there's a couple more. Advice on age gap relationship. I don't have advice. I have no advice for that. Have you guys ever dated anyone that was like that much older? No, have you? For me, for me, yes. 10 years. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, for you? I for me, yeah, ten years. Um, my advice for it? Yes. Don't do don't it. it. He's Why? grooming you, dude. Like, okay, I say this because I. Well, you're also very young. That's why I was also yes. very young. Yeah. So if you're like pretty young, like um, chances are, like, no, it, he's not being genuine. Mm-hmm. And it's really hard. It is hard to see it in the moment because I did not believe anyone. They were like what like that's weird and i was like no like it's not like that like i was super in denial but it turned out did you think he was cool yeah okay you thought he was cool did you think that like you were like oh it's so nice being taken care of like because he pays for everything like drives that i was like oh he's so mature like he has a real job like yeah he's like cool (laughs) but in reality honestly most of them are losers if they're going they are exactly i didn't realize exactly you're super young so for him to be like that much older than you is just like yeah. Okay. Yeah, you are grooming. You are grooming yeah. her. And and you're just not cool because you can't find someone that's <laughs> your exactly. age. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask how old you were? How old it later, be, later. Uh, yeah, that's pretty uh, young. I think I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So so if you are younger, if you are in like how would you say like in your twenties, maybe like early twenties? And he's like 10 years, maybe even 15 years older than you, then probably not. Like Even yeah. like eight, seven, eight, like. Yeah. But if, if you're, you're like, that young, if you're exactly, that young. Exactly. Yeah. If you're in like your mid 20s, late 20s, and he was like 35, that's okay. Yeah. I think that's okay. Like, I, I think so. I think yeah. it's a little different for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Way different. Totally. That is true. But I also believe that there's like a, <laughs> there could be some sort of like, what if you, what if you start talking about like slangs and stuff and they're just like, what the heck is that? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'd be doing that. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, sometimes I'd be doing that with y'all too. No, I, too, like I did, I did notice like at times when I did notice the age difference at times and like, it would be like a little weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. like ima- dude, imagine you're just like, damn, you got motion and they're over like, oh yes, I do have motion. Like imagine, like <laughs> imagine. Oh hell no. <laughs> like they don't know. They- <laughs> Yes, I do get motion. They don't know. Like, you know what I mean? There's going to be like a, they might not know. (laughs) They might not know some of the things that you guys are talking about, you know? No, yeah, that's so true. When the last time we hung out with Esther, we we said something. She's like, what does that mean? We're like, oh, "Oh, hell no, not you. Not you telling me. Was it Gat? Was it his clip? Does she know what that was? Gat? It could have been, or it was. Uh, it might I know the it definition was- of gap. <laughs> I, I sure know what that thing is. That I think that we say that. I don't even <laughs> think it's different, but we just say it's clip or that's calm. It's calm. Clip? 
clip. Even I haven't heard that. Like that's just clip. clip. No way. Clip. No. no you never heard clip. Since you do know it's a lot cool. of us, I feel no. like, like it's, you're a lot like better than like. Yeah. No clip. That's clip. Like I've heard, like clipped. We all never heard it's clipped before. It's clipped. Oh, like it's done. That's what it is. Done. Yeah. Or like it's not it. That party is clipped. Mm, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna yeah. say that Jeremy now. I'm gonna start saying that. I'm be like, like it's, it's clipped. I don't know. So it means done. Like, I'm it, done. It, it, so like I come out of the restroom like it's clipped. <laughs> like it's over. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no. like it's clipped. Like it's I don't clipped. know. Done clipped. for. Like, let's, say, let's say you clip. y'all are gonna you, we're all gonna pull up to some bar and then our friend calls us and they're like, oh you know what? There's not a lot of people. And I'd be like, okay, that shit's clipped. Like there's mm. no way we're gonna go do that. Okay. You can use it in different sense. Like you can use it. That's a way to use it though. Ah, uh, we're about to go to Korea. It's clip. It's, it's clip, clip, bro. We outside. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's I mean, maybe, over. Yeah, like, like, maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, it sounds stupid, like, but that's what. <laughs> but that's what our. I don't know. Our friends. Our friends. We. I really don't know. If no one says that, I'm so sorry. I, but it's I my first time here. Really. I've said that for it's years. Clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I got that. My constipation is done. It's clip. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's clip. It's clip. It's clip. It's out of there. Wait, Madam, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say, like, because you do hang out with a lot more of us and the younger, younger crew, uh-huh. I feel like you do know the slang, though. You're you like, do. Vic, keeps, Vic keeps me young. He does. I didn't even know your age, bro. I thought you were literally. I, it's true. I am. Yeah. I am. No, for real. She is Indeed, 21. I am. When you told me that, I was like, wow, mm-hmm. Esther. I'm I only never... like two years older than you guys. You guys make me sound so old. That's so crazy, <laughs> you guys. Ah, she's so young. Yes, dude. Yes, I can. I, I can rent a car. <laughs> yes, I'm legal for that. I know you guys can't. I can. Anyways. Oh yeah, we cannot. Yeah, That's exactly. Funny. Why am I bragging about this, man? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Okay. Another advice: feminine hygiene tips before a date night. Mm. What y'all doing? Mm. Y'all be asking some questions I really can't remember. Everything shower. Everything shower. shower. The everything shower. Everything shower. What does an everything shower explain? When you shave everything, when you shampoo, conditioner. You do your full 12 step face skincare Skincare routine. routine. Um, When you guys are like making sure the vag is clean, you get in between the labia, (laughs) scrubby dub dub, make sure it's. Yeah, well, like, yeah. Lift your. Up, make sure you get the yeah. bottom. Yeah. You guys don't do that? What? <laughs> what? Like, I, there's not much to. That's what yeah, I was going to say. Folds in there. I like, don't have that problem, Esther. There must be a nice problem. You mean like washing? Huh? You mean like washing? just washing every yeah, little okay, like yeah. like the back of your ears? I you meant yeah. Totally different. Like in yeah. the ears, because yeah. you know that you're gonna be kissed there. You the piercings. Sure. <laughs> That's so true, <laughs> dude. I like I have to soap like my piercings because I know that should be <laughs> smelling <laughs> as nasty as it is. Like you can't get Real. away from that. Yeah, Real. you have to always sanitize it and stuff. You mm-hmm. have to make sure all that stuff is clean. You have to like get in the nitty gritty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I meant. Okay. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you'll pull. <laughs> Um, well, you guys don't do that? Is I that do a- it every morning. Oh, thank God. What's hey. oil pull? Yeah, okay. It's yeah. like you pull oil in between your teeth. Um, oh. It's coconut oil. You yeah. 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 You do it for like 10 minutes and then... Yeah. You can yeah. use coconut oil? You yeah. can use coconut oil. It hella whitens your teeth. Organic, yes. Or what? Mm-hmm. Not even just your teeth, but it's good for your like throat, right? Like everything, like your mm-hmm. whole mouth. Oh. Your gums and shit. Yeah. yeah. Period. But make sure you're not like swallowing it or anything like <laughs> yeah. that. Make sure you rinse it out. Make sure you brush your teeth after. But yeah, um... What else do you guys? I, I shave everything. I shave my nipples. I shave like every piece of my knuckle hair. <laughs> Even your knuckle hair? Yeah. What the heck? Dude, like I did. I but I, what, I, what if they I hold stopped. your hand and they're just like, wow, you're so soft there. You're like, yeah, that's all my knuckle now hair. Now I'm insecure about it. I never even thought of knuckle hair. Dude, I, I, I stopped because oh, it was like darker. Hair. You guys shave your mustache? Yes. I stopped. I, I have to wax because it. Yeah, what? Okay. I've yeah. been waxing now my armpits I and love the mustache. That. It's good. Yes, but you know what? It's Beauty, worth is it. Beauty is pain. It is laser it. guys. I, I just started laser, so I started no more too. waxing. Yeah, I need laser. It's a lot better. But I guys. did like waxing. Mm. Exactly. What yes. else? Do you, what, what else are you guys doing? <coughs> do you guys use like um, Summer's Eve or like Vagis? No. Is it Vagis? Is it Vagisil? What is that called? No, yeah, I, I use Honey Pot or Honey Pot. Okay. Honey Pot. I've heard that's a good brand. There's also a Korean brand or it's a Korean American brand. Or like it was founded by Korean American mm-hmm. woman, but f- I forgot the name, dude. It's such a good um, like soap for down there. Mm. I'm scared because like foam. you know how they said that it sometimes it's like not good for you, but you just gotta find the right ones. Mm. Yeah, like it's 
yeah like the honey pot ones i know are good um let me search it up actually for the people oh also <laughs> before a date i like to match my underwear and bra make sure it's like super cute mm-hmm. saying even if i don't get some d i still be looking cute yeah always I've, cute underwear exactly but you know what? i do that in general i do that every single day i wear i i make sure that my bra and my underwear matches every single oh, time really? uh-huh. i love yeah. that you know yeah. i heard that like helps boost like yeah self-confidence and stuff. Yeah. it makes you you know for a fact that you're 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 be like under your under your clothes as well yeah yeah for sure um i'm gonna try that i mean like if you're going to a special event what are you doing oh well yeah it's this one like the rile the rile one yeah it's like very very um good because it's um for it's very gentle what is it called the rile foaming feminine R A E L. I don't know how to pronounce it i'm not gonna lie to you for sure. Yeah, Real? fragrance free. Everything. Yeah. Make sure it's fragrance free. Gentle for down there for sure. For sure. And see? when you do use soaps like that, feminine wash, like you're not supposed to go inside. It's just yeah. outer, and then let it like use the water mm-hmm. that drips down. Yes. Like, do no not put soaps. it inside. Do not go do inside. Not do that. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Okay, this is something that you know you can help out. How to make friends. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Here. I, I know. That's friend. what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't even know. Oy. Let's just say you're new or let's just say that like you ditched all your friends because they were crappy people. Like, you know, my friend circle has become like from here to like right here. Mm-hmm. Same. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm not as close to people as I used to be. I mean, I'm still cool with everyone. I love everyone I've ever met. Some. <laughs> and um, I think the way that I make new friends is mainly like through a mutual friend. Mm-hmm. Like I met you guys through M's. Mm-hmm. you know um but how do you know when to like make effort when the person is also like um i don't know there's just a difference with like the genuineness when i had met maru at first i thought she didn't like me when we were, oh, why? i but, thought but, the same thing as, like you guys yeah but yeah. it wasn't it wasn't like she was being rude it's just that ah, i was i was drunk okay yeah, you were drunk too you came it was at alex's birthday party so but, was that girl me the girl that you said you Never mind. Actually, is it, it because like, she, you guys are both quiet? <laughs> is it because you guys are both quiet that like it seemed like? No, I just thought I just thought she was more closed off, and mm. obviously, like that's totally respectable. Like she was with M's and M's only. Like that's how I saw. It. I was drunk, so that could obviously not be the case. Yeah. Mm. But then the second time, um, we went to a rave together, and she was so like. But she was like, oh my God, where's your mom? Can I say hi to her? Like, I would love to meet her. And like made that effort to like, she did not have to do that. A lot of people won't do that. But she made the effort to literally go go say hi to my mom, introduce herself. And I just think that that was really sweet of you to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you sure. can see that with a lot of people that I've met. If they don't have that to them, not saying you have to introduce yourself to my mom. But like you just notice things like then you're like, oh, mm-hmm. they're such sweet people. Yeah. That's, yeah. Your, that's literally all of you guys. Like, yeah. Literally, Jackie, I've actually always like, say it. I've actually noticed that about you that like because when i first met you too i didn't get the feeling that you didn't like me but i uh-huh. i did feel like my i have pretty good intuition like my intuition was just going off <laughs> that like you are just like closed off till you yeah. trust the person to like get to know yeah. them more uh-huh. and so like the first couple of times like we didn't really talk but you were nice you said hi and yeah. stuff and i think like once i started like actually like opening up and we're like talking then like mm. i saw you open up too and i was yeah. like ah, i saw a video bitch. i saw a video of all of us on new year's and i was like oh my god at this time i wasn't really that close to cynthia yeah. Yeah. So she probably didn't f- with me, but I'm over here like putting you in a f- video. Oh, no. yeah. But then I'm like, now I know her. It's nothing like that, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for sure, before I meet someone, I'm closed off because I want to make sure that like mm-hmm. they don't have a wrong idea of me or that they're like interested in meeting new people too. For because sure. there's a yeah. lot of girls who don't f- with girls, and that's totally fine to each yes. his own. But no, that's it's not totally fine. Have. If you don't f- with girls and you're a girl, then yeah. it's a little. It's a little weird. Yeah. I don't know what they've been through, you know. So that's why I say to each his own. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it's, it sucks, but mm-hmm. yeah, just wait till I can be like, okay, they're, we'll sure. talk, we'll have a little conversation, and then it's like, Whoop. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what you're saying is h- how to make friends through mutuals and then also be genuine, be kind. And you know what? Another tip that I would like to give you is that if you want to make someone feel good ask questions about them yeah Yeah. i think that that makes them feel you know or or also you don't have to do this but when i realize that when i do share some moments that are kind of like intimate a little bit Mm -hmm. or like vulnerable people tend to actually open up more as well Mm -hmm. yeah so as long as you're not using that in a bad you know in a bad way and you're using that to your advantage you know oh then yeah i think i think that that's also a good trick to use 
a tip to use, not a trick. A yeah. tip to use to like make new friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a good one. Do you guys have any? Mm. Um, oh, also check out like check out like Yuzu or like Bumble friends. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I I have friends that. actually that have gone on it and they said it was pretty decent. You can make friends. Yeah, you can make yeah. friends. Mm-hmm. It's not only just for um, dating. dating. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like, if you if you're new to the area, then that's that could be a good uh, place to start because chances are they're looking for friends. I mean, they are looking for friends, and chances are that they're new as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Um, Anything else, y'all? I could say. Also, like, if you try to start a conversation with someone, you could pick up if they're interested. Yeah, that's true. For sure. Like, asking them some questions. Like, oh, my, how are you? Like, do you know anybody here? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, how, where are you from? Like, mm-hmm. Just like that, little by little. And you kind of catch a clue if they're interested in having a conversation with you or not. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Good advice. Okay, last question. And then I'm going to tell you guys one story and then we could wrap it up. Yes, okay. Ma'am. All right. So. Da, 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 da. Okay. How to feel secure in a relationship and stop thinking that they're always going to cheat. Mm. Or that they're cheating. That's a hard question cuz I don't even know, yeah. but I will say um I don't know, like I feel like usually that happens when you stay with the person that already cheated on you, right? What? No, no, no. Like, so let's just say that I got, I was in a relationship and I got cheated on, right? Yep. And then in my new relationship, I'm bringing that insecurity oh, got it. with me. Let's just say it, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. then I'm just like thinking, oh God, like I'm insecure. Uh, I, I get a little toxic maybe. Yeah. And I also think that this person is cheating as well because of the past hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you do. I was just gonna say I think you just gotta realize like this person is a different person than your past person like yeah like you've been hurt before but you gotta realize people are different Mm -hmm. not everybody's gonna treat you like but I mean that's easier said than done I don't know how how you would get to that mental state but I feel like if you know you're not there yet like if you know you're not good with yourself and you still have so much baggage I would just say don't get in a relationship yeah Yeah, work on yourself and heal for sure Yeah. yeah yeah you need to give yourself that time well, like, okay, one, if it is your own trust issues, like Maru said, I think it's something you got to work on. But also, you could also, f- there are people out there who are willing to be respective of your trust issues and work around it. And like, if they like you enough, they'll make extra sure to f- make you feel comfortable, like knowing what you've already been through. And if they're not doing that, I don't think they're right for you. Mm-hmm. Um but also, I was going to say, if you really think they're cheating on you, just trust your gut instinct. Like, 100% if you have a fucking forget. instinct, just trust it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And also, like, when they show you things, like, when you feel like something shady or they're doing something shady, believe them. Like, believe it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, don't, don't be like, oh, like, don't. I don't know. I feel like there's delusion and there's, like, truth. Yeah. And then I feel like sometimes people... Uh, like choose not to look at red flags and it's just like you gotta you gotta make sure you see it mm-hmm. and you know make your decision from that mm-hmm. i think another thing is that just think that if if that person you can't stop someone from cheating yeah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. so if they're gonna do it then it's just like okay let them do it they're gonna do you know it let, yeah. let them do it like don't force like don't force your i don't know don't be like super like toxic insecure and like like try to like how do you say like control what they're doing yeah. because a person that wants to cheat is gonna cheat mm-hmm. yeah. and let them so let them do it and yes. just dip out of there the let oh, them so theory true, is like exactly yeah. once you just start letting people yeah let them do themselves then you just start stop like worrying about true. yeah exactly. that is true yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. so much energy wasted if you just keep thinking about that yeah. Cause I, cause I do it all, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I do it all the time, even because of like the past mm-hmm. and like, that is such a toxic like mindset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm always just like trying to, yeah. Like, uh, like I become like controlling or I try, I kind of like, you know, do shady things, mm-hmm. you know, to, to try to see what's up. Mm-hmm. But I realize I'm just like, dude, like this person has shown me nothing, especially if they're, they've been nothing but good to you. Yeah. Make sure that like, like, yeah, don't bring that toxic energy from your past. And also like, just learn to trust them because it's just like they've done nothing but show you good things mm-hmm. yeah. you know and yeah that's it yeah that's what i would say that's some good okay. advice and last thing is a long okay. ass 
story time. Story, but I just want you guys to answer and tell me what you guys think about it. <clears throat> Hi, Esther. Long story, but I promise it's worth the tea. I've been dating this guy for a couple months that works at my gym. I go to Equinox, and he's a personal trainer there. I've been single for a while, so I finally thought I found my person since we aligned so well on many things. He met my family, and I met his. It was going well until one day he told me he lost feelings for me, and it's best that we stayed friends. I was confused, and immediately I asked if there was another girl involved, and he said no. However, I did your method by checking his following list, <laughs> and there was a girl he recently followed, and she followed back. I used this account to look at her slash his story and they've been together. I was heartbroken, but I picked myself up and tried to move on. However, it's awkward because I see her and him at the gym all the time. I can't help but to feel jealousy. She's gorgeous and I keep comparing myself to her. I try to avoid them whenever I see them at the gym, but I think she tries to make it a point to be all over him in front of me. <sighs> Ooh. First off, not the personal trainer. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hold like... on one second. Uh, what's called? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, but this is where the T starts. Ever since he broke it off with me, I've been getting random phone numbers and random bot accounts texting slash DMing me to stay away from their man. And I have a feeling it's her. Who else? <laughs> oh. I'm trying my best to move on from the situation. I'm already heartbroken as it is. Is it best that I move gyms? I like Equinox and what it offers, so I'd really hate to rearrange my routine, but I'm also uncomfortable and feeling that I'm not good enough because he chose her over me. What are your thoughts? First off, that is her. Yeah. Tell her ass to shut up. <laughs> but also, the thing is, he... Don't ever chase someone that doesn't want you. First of all, I don't. I don't know if you're chasing them or not. It doesn't say, but you can't do anything about this. You know what I mean? But she is harassing you. If that's her, then yeah, she's harassing you. Yeah. I would report the number or something, whatever. Um, I wouldn't. I don't think I would confront her. Would you guys confront her? No. I would just pretend like I never saw it. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I would let yeah. the authorities deal with yeah. that. But yeah. I would not do anything where it would put me back into. The situation. Yeah, the situation. If it was so easy, I will say, first of all, you are good enough. Okay, he's the asshole who decided to leave you for mm -hmm. a different girl while he was in a relationship, mm -hmm. if that's the case. But I don't think you should even... You don't have to move gyms. Like, if you show them that you care so much, it's kind of like he's winning. I know it's hard. It's yeah. easier said than done, for sure. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's not worth it to give all your time to thinking, like, oh, I can't I can't work out. Wh work out there? Or she works there? Uh, no, she works out there, and then he's a personal trainer there. So, like, mm. he, she would have to, like, actually, like, leave the gym mm -hmm. if she doesn't want to see him because he like works there Damn, i mean she really likes that gym too yeah i would not leave mm -hmm. to like not leave no i don't think you need to move gyms i think if you show them that you care like they're they're kind of winning in a way like just f off like f it doesn't really matter yeah honestly Try your best you yes know? Mm -hmm. think about how weird she f is like yes, she has the man right and she's trying to like rub it in your face yeah, for some reason if you. any yeah if and anything you know she's more what? bothered with you like you're winning right now so don't show her like you and she probably thinks you're gorgeous because she has to do right. all of this yeah, stuff. That's what she's saying. Yeah. And like, if she was able to, or if okay, she's the type of person to like send like harassment letters to you. Like, what do you think she's like actually like? Like, what do you think she's talking to this guy? Like, maybe like, you know, she's being like super toxic and possessive to him. Like, by you just like showing up to the gym and acting like you don't care, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure that he will. He'll notice that too, yeah. and he'll definitely be like, he'll. I'm not saying he's gonna come back to you. Like I don't want to feed delusions, but he'll yeah. definitely look into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Work always exactly. work on yourself. Okay, yeah. always yeah. work on yourself and never compare yourself to anybody yeah. else. You know what I mean? Yeah. I used to do that all the time, and I'm just like, oh, these people are like my age, but they're or they're younger than me, but they're doing so much better than me. Or like this girl, like she never had an awkward phase. Like I, I, like, <laughs> I look at all my photos, and I'm just like, when I was in fourth grade, I look like this, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. you know, like this girl's so much prettier. I'm just like, you can go on and on and on about like what you don't have and what they have if you keep going at it. You just mm -hmm. have to focus on yourself. The minute that you drop all that and just focus on yourself uh, and, and loving yourself and getting better, that's when like nobody could really bother you. Mm -hmm. Nothing bothers you. You'll start glowing mm -hmm. on a different level. For I'm sure. Show him that you could do good with or without him. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Anything else, guys? 
Um, Any advice? That was honestly but, like, so much to take into. That was, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Also, that was him. him. Like, that's right. crazy. Like, he was yeah. talking. So basically, he was talking to the g- both girls at the same time because he, he just, probably, like, yeah, yeah, I think so. The assumption was that he was no, probably he definitely, like, talking about yes. while they were together. That's crazy. Because as soon as, like, he broke it off with her or it, he was with mm-hmm. her, so yeah. they probably were together. But that means, dude, that girl's shady, though, low-key. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Not even low key, high key. She's shady because it's just like she probably she knows that he was talking. I was to about her. to say yeah. she's she knew. Like, Stop talking to my man. Like, exactly. oh yeah, she, she exactly knew that you guys were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Do not pay attention to her. Act like you didn't even get the message. Yeah. Like, don't mm-hmm. even look at her. Just be like, just do your own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be- yeah. You also, care. yeah. Sorry. Also, what Cynthia said, I feel like the guy will notice. Like, his girl is being so threatened by you, and he's mm-hmm. gonna be like, oh shit, like. You know, men are dumb. He's gonna think like, oh, it's true. Almost, yeah, it's that like she, you are better because yeah. she is threatened by you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But f- what the guy thinks at the end, and they f- him too. Okay, like, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, work on yourself. Work on yourself, and yes, and you'll find someone better than hundred percent. Yeah. This guy is nothing. <laughs> yeah, and also people, personal trainers from Equinox doesn't even make that much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm not putting it out there. I don't know how much you guys make, but I'm just saying. Bro, I feel like Equinox that he's is a like whore. Bougie. <laughs> yeah, a little like, whore. Everything's like a bougie gym. Yeah, I was gonna be. Yeah, like, yeah. she's rich, but All right. I mean, you That's know what? Girl, she do not move gym. Yeah, yeah. I was like, she's doing <laughs> exactly. well. If you're on Equinox, you're doing you're doing well. You're doing well. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, that was the episode, guys. Thank you all for coming. Thanks Thank for you. I hope you guys you, enjoyed Esther. being on here. It was super and fun. Yeah. Please go this way and tell them your name again and your social media and tell them one thing you want. Uh, anything you want. One mm-hmm. thing that you want them to know. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's it's like an icebreaker. <laughs> uh, Fuck. Um, something I want? Oh, no, no. Like, whatever. Like, you're just like, hey. Comparison is a thief of joy. My name is Jack Nesky. <laughs> just anything you want to say. Like any quotes okay. or anything like you want to tell the audience. Well, I can't do it. I'm Cynthia. My Instagram is CYNXCHOY. And I love Pedro Pascal. Wow. Daddy Pascal. Wow. <laughs> Like Pedro, if you're watching this, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got it right there. Not that. Pedro watching under the influence. <laughs> that would be wild. Hey, appearing. Um, I'm Sydney. My socials are Sydneyborn underscore. I don't really got nothing to say. Hi, Sydney. Hi. This is AA. <laughs> I don't I'm know. an alcoholic. <laughs> And well, oh. I'm not an alcoholic, but nectar hard seltzer. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's what she wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Maru. Hi, Maru. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know why I said thank you. <laughs> She's um, so cute. But I'm on YouTube if you want to follow me or subscribe to me there. Yes. Ooh, what's your name? What's your name on YouTube? Um, I know what it is. What is it's it? It's Maru. <laughs> Is Maru Lee underscore no? Queen. Five to six? Yes, oh. that's what it is. A five to six? Is it not five to six, but the underscore, oh. you got it. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's Maru Lee underscore. Ah, wow. Esther's such a queen. Oh, yeah. Yes. I made the account for a pair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, you kind of read it. No, because like, you know why? Yeah. I try to look for your YouTube, but it won't show up if I type Maru Lee. It would only show up Suburb Talks oh, really? clip. So you need to make sure that people know that it's Maru Lee underscore, or else it doesn't come up for some reason. It's Maru Lee underscore. Mm-hmm. Um, and one thing about me is I love food. Yay. Yes. All right, Jackie. Um, I'm Jackie. Hi, Jackie. My, oh, sorry. My Instagram is Jackie Barwin, Uh, And I love to sing. Yeah, she yeah. sure She's does. She's good really singer. good at it. So check her out on TikTok as well. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer.
delicious Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you. Oh, 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 oh